Okay, I'm I'm still learning the YouTube stuff. So I scheduled the stream, but I scheduled the stream for 15 minutes from now. And then um, <laughs> just, I realized there's a go live button that I have to click on. So apparently I just went live. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, we are, we are, uh, we're learning things here. First scheduled stream. So a little bit of a mistake. Uh, I'll go through the base stats again, and then maybe you can go through uh, the move pool again for us. Yeah. Apologies for, for to Matt's stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so base stats. 65 HP, 80 attack, 40 defense, 45 special, and 75 speed, giving it a 14.45% chance to crit. It has a medium fast growth rate, which is not great, but it's not the worst. Uh, bug poison is honestly a pretty terrible typing in Generation 1, but bug type moves uh, are actually decent. They're a lot better than uh, you would think, uh, mostly because they're really rare. And I think Twin Needle is a Beedrill exclusive. Uh, yes, exclusive move. Yeah. Uh, we are having... Hang on, let me... I'm going to have to add Discord to the properties here. Hang on. Sure, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to do that. Spot also, te technical difficulties. Yeah, apologies. Uh, I should, I'll mention this to everyone. Uh, there is a software update that we've been putting off with Gamehook for a really long time. I uh, decided to go ahead with it last night, and it broke a whole bunch of my stuff, so I've been frantically fixing my overlay this morning. Apologies if uh, if stuff doesn't work middle of the run. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. If if something just okay. breaks, sorry. I got enough sounds good to me to okay to continue with it. Uh, for the move set, basically what you're looking for here is a uh, you know a lot of fury attack, a lot of struggles early. But like Scott said, bug moves are pretty good, especially considering that it's super effective to poison types as well. Lots of du double super effective opportunities with it. Yeah. Super effective against Psychic. And, you know, the learn set is just, it's pretty much Twin Needle, and then you're just looking for your little core moves, pretty much Swords Dance. You can get Double Edge, you can get Swift, Mega Drain if you want it, Mimic, Reflect, Rest. There's a tight little group, but it's pretty solid. The early game's just going to be kind of rough. Yeah. I guess, yeah, we didn't mention Brock since I went live, um, or we might have been talking about him before stream. We have Fury Attack and Focus Energy until level 20. Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of... Also, someone will always say, doesn't Brock resist Twin Needle? And the answer is no, he does not. So, yeah. It's like, what is no, it? I might be... The bug type That's... resists the ground type, but the ground type doesn't resist the bug type. And the rock type does not resist the bug type, which I don't know. That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> let me double check myself. I thought rock resisted bug, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure rock does day. not resist bug. It doesn't. Hang yeah. On. Uh, defensive. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's just neutral damage. Yeah, it's neutral damage. Oh, if only we did parasect like 300 times. I, would have I know, that right? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't need level 20 to beat Brock. Yeah, I was... Snowy says that. Uh, I was I was thinking that we don't need level 20 to beat Brock. What level do you think we'll need to beat Brock in yellow version? Oh, my God. Yellow... I think if you're lucky, 13 could do it, but it's looking like a 15-er. Oh, oh, my, my God. Issa Kabir, thanks for the memberships. I appreciate it. Uh, real quick to my chat. Oh my god, I got notifications on and they're just going crazy because somebody gifted memberships and I got oh, a congrats. notification on. No, I'm going to have to disable it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going uh, crazy and my volume's loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm realizing I need to get your stream up so that I can see what's going on. Um, this oh, is... Uh, yeah. I, I didn't realize I needed to like set up my screen this way. Again, everyone... Apologies for uh, this is going to be kind of raw. We're we're just figuring this out. We did do this once before, but yeah, yeah, we had I'm a little not... bit more time to prepare. We did. Uh, I'm going to put your stream uh, in my description so people can check out both streams if they want. Uh, it'll just be my footage over here, and then it'll be Matt's footage over on his stream. Um, his over wow, oh, your overlay looks really good. This is you like it? Yeah, I, it looks I, really I spent... good. I spent half of December redoing the code. Now, it looks good, but what I did is, like, my overlay was, like, 1,500 lines of code, and I chomped it down to about 300. That's, yeah. Uh, 
It always feels so good when the, you have less code. Well, loop functions. Here's what happens. I like to use nice blocky letters. And I got to a point to where, like, just my badges, like, especially on Gen 2, my badges were, like, 150 lines of code just for <laughs> no. all the badges. <laughs> uh, oh, my yeah. God, guys. You're going crazy on the memberships. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if I'm not super hyper-focused on the chat, I apologize. We got a guest today, so, you know, we're communicating and stuff, so don't get too crazy. But I do appreciate it. Tyler Willis, Michael R., Maxime Sinecal. Yeah. Five memberships. Amazing. Same same thing goes yeah. for me. I will be back streaming on the weekend at some point, and uh, then I'll I'll really pay attention to chat. Uh, but today, yeah, we're gonna do a bead drill in both yellow and red. So we're gonna start with yellow, then we're gonna do red. We are also gonna be playing with our own rules. So I'll be playing on four times game speed um, with various modifications throughout the run that I'll mention as we go. Uh, Matt, what are your rules? Uh, it's it's essentially the same, but I play on times three speed. I use in game time, uh, and then I use resets combined into a formula to give me a metric. Um, I don't use the Pokédot skip, so I'll be doing oh, you'll be okay. seeing Giovanni one, and it's probably not going to be well. Never mind, Rock doesn't resist bugs, so it's probably not going to be that bad actually. Yeah, no sword dance yet though. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, we'll have to get past it. It's 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 pretty close to the same i usually use um i'm pretty sure you do this nowadays too uh manips because encounters will just leave a wide range of two pokemon are evenly yeah. matched yeah it's going to be decided by encounters and that doesn't feel good yeah uh, i turned off some of the manips today because i got the feeling that i'm gonna have to grind in viridian forest yeah i turned um, off i turned off my manipulations for viridian forest as well but i'll have no mount moon encounters you're not going to be able to blackout grind with just fury attack um and i think if you hit 16 where you could do it you're probably too far at that point anyway hey austin okay that's um, my thoughts on it so you're gonna have to just you tell me whenever you're ready we don't have to do like an sure. official countdown or anything no like that. yeah th yeah this is this is not a race again if one person is playing on three times speed and the other person on four times speed. It's <laughs> going to be very confusing. Hey, we're uh, just learning. Yeah. And we could just talk about stuff. So we're both playing yellow right now. I, I, uh, I do think there is, there is one race happening, which is if I do not beat you, uh, I, I think I will uh, forever have to live in shame. Because well, unless I discover, <laughs> I, hopefully, hopefully, if you're stuck somewhere and I'm past it, I can just be like, oh, I just did this. Yeah. Like, okay, just get past it real quick. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on times three speed. My rules are in the descriptions. Bed, bath, and your mom. You watch. You know my rules. Okay. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Three, two, one, go. I'm not gonna nickname anything because when we swap yeah. over to red version, I don't want to have to manually enter a nickname i thought about putting a property like um you know how in the smeargle race where you could just enter your name and do that yes. i was gonna do that but i was like i could just do the nickname on there yeah i'm using uh usually i use like a wacky red version with like different sprites and stuff but i'm just using vanilla today. yeah i was gonna say like normally you it look, looks kind of like gen 2 uh yeah and i've been yeah. using a lot of green sprites um Oh, the green sprites. Some of those a lot are of green sprites. Some of those are great. Yeah, space space world sprites a good bit. The main thing is I expanded the banks and oh. I made my back sprites forty eight by forty eight, so I could. You oh, know, so they're better quality. Yeah. Yeah, but I reverted back to the old twenty eight by twenty eight for this stream, so yeah, people aren't too confused. But I usually I've been trying to put a disclaimer on stuff. Yeah, the rare vanilla mat. I, I may have to start again. It's okay. I'll catch up to you. I I forgot oh, to fine. put music on, and I also forgot to start recording my replay. <laughs> so, oops. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, all it is is Viridian Forest. I I feel like it would not be one of my streams if we don't have at least one run restart. So. Oh, for sure. I imagine there's something coming. Uh, I think. At the start, I feel like on blind runs, I approach it like a, I don't know, almost like a riskier approach. Like, I'll just, I want to see the minimum level, I guess. Because, like, let's say yeah. I grinded to level 18 on Brock, and I just do it real easy. What did I really learn, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, what do I yeah, want to do? I generally try things at like a slightly lower level, but one that I think is like possible, but slightly lower than maybe what I would think is like the safest possible play. Oh my god, Fury Attack's so bad. It is so Sword bad. Sword Donald Goofy. Uh, this is just dual commentary. We're just doing two blind runs, guys. You'll see the full run eventually, months from now. Am I going to lose the very first bug catcher battle? Uh, in my first run, I almost lost against the rival in the lab. I did. I lost the very <laughs> first... Uh... No. Oh, you lost to the bug catcher. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to be safe stating like... Oh, okay, never mind. I'm going to be safe stating like crazy on this, but reset. One yeah. reset's already down. <sighs> so do you use save states for your resets? Oh. Uh, I just count that one because I didn't save it. I uh, was getting yeah. into the battle and I was like, wait a second, I only have Fury Attack. So I will start saving it, but... Yeah. Maybe Blind I runs. should save. Oh my god, I barely... I barely He's... squeaked by. Nice. Is the rooting R1. software I use public? Yeah, it is. Anyone can get it. Do you use uh, RBY XP Rooter? Me? Oh, yeah. For your runs? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I can think back to, like, a couple of years ago, even the Parasect race, like, the Polyrath run that I did, like, a couple of years ago, like, I remember doing nine runs, and I had a folder with, like, seven different save states in it to test that run. Yes. And, like, this, like, that just eliminates the guesswork of, like, the tedium. Yeah. Like, I remember spending oh. so long on that run. Yeah. That was, like, a, a auto-developed this software specifically for the Parasect race. <laughs> yeah, he did it just for himself. He did like, it for himself. Yeah, then he showed it to me. He's like, hey, what do you think? I was like, this is awesome. Like, we got to keep making this. Yeah, because uh, I remember, like, uh, Steve and Van Man, they had like the spreadsheets and Otto was like, yeah, I just got a program. I was like, ah. <laughs> Okay, I uh, I lost to the lass in uh, in the forest. So, yeah, it's oh off to God. a rough start for me too. It's not great. My current plan right now, uh, R1, thanks for the $5, appreciate it. I'm going to go to level 8. I'm in pewter right now. I'm going to just see if I can do, like, get some pity blackout grinding from the Light Years trainer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can. Yeah, I took the blackout on the last so that I get the experience from the first Nidoran. Oh, we can have another one here. That's that's where we're at. <laughs> just take taking the blackout on the first Nidoran. <laughs> I have minus five attack and minus five defense. Like, oh no, second reset. Are you kidding? Wow. Okay, so I lost to the last twice. I, I think that is an all-time first. Uh, there's been some runs where I skipped. I mean, most people don't get to see... Well, your runs, they do get to see that process. But I'm sure, like... No, you just show your straight-up first run every time, right? No I do what. just show my first run every time. Okay. But I'm sure there's times where you sit there and you're just like, well, let me just see, like how bad it is for a record. Do you ever do that? Like, uh, uh, let me just see the extent. I, I used to, I used to try and like scout things out to Brock, but now with like more experience, uh, I just, I just go in and try and do my best right away. First attempt. I was only able to black out one time. Uh, speed runner. Thanks. Better for than $2. none. I was able to do it twice. And now I'm going to backtrack. And pick up the trainers, and then the ultimate goal, I'm going to try level 30. I'm actually going to pick up an escape route. Yeah, the reset counter shows zero. It's because it's counting my blackouts as actual blackouts. I can't afford an escape route. Okay. <laughs> uh, This is not good. I think Bortzenator. Appreciate that. Yeah, Swords Dance. I agree. Swords Dance is going to be pretty good. I have to say... um. I think struggle might be better than fury attack in the early game. Uh, might be onto something. Like, it's been pretty brutal so far, and just missing a fury attack is really bad. 
Oh, I'm going to lose here again. Stop. Okay, I won with 2 HP. I've been doing some runs lately with like sub 100% accuracy moves, and I was like, man, they're really not that bad. But like when you play a run like this, mm -hmm. you really see like when the payoff isn't good, when it's like low accuracy and <laughs> the payoff is bad. Yeah. The payoff from Fury Attack is like, there is no payoff. I'm just hoping. You uh, love how untoxic the community is? Uh, it usually is, unless you're playing Starmie. <laughs> <laughs> if for yeah, some reason, Starmie yeah, brings yeah, out... I the... know. It, <laughs> if you don't teach Starmie Surf, then everyone gets <laughs> really frustrated. Don't even say that around my community. We already know. Did you did you teach it surf or did no one teach it no. surf? Yeah, no one teaches it surf. <laughs> That's hilarious. No one does. Uh, what evolution are we doing? Uh, I think most people just do the Flareon. Yeah, I I'm guess if we Flareon. get desperate enough. Maybe yeah, maybe I'm gonna go back and and do Jolteon now that I think. I about mean, I'm it. here. I'm here. Uh, I'm about to get the. I think glass. I might go back and do Jolteon. I don't have enough to buy an escape rope. I don't see my thing with the star me like I know yours was a video so it's completely different mine was on stream uh, my redo that I did recently okay. and like I'm always down like you know oh, I'm on struggle strats I'm always down for somebody to be like I think this is a good strategy you should try it. and every once in a while somebody says something that's like brilliant and it's like yes that's yes answer, it's actually. so true and um but sometimes somebody will say something and it's like okay what's your logic behind that and they're like I don't know I think also sometimes people are thinking uh, about competitive sets. All the time. Like, they look at it and they go like, well, Starmie should obviously have Surf. Like, that's its most damage, same type attack bonus move. Like, it's just obvious. But from, like, a solo running perspective, you can never get rid of Surf, and it's really not that good against the Champion. It's really not good against Lance. Uh, Psychic is way better against Agatha and Bruno. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just blacked out. I didn't even realize it. I'm trying to read. Okay, guys, in the chat, there's a guy named Raziel. Can someone like translate that to English for me? It's this. I think it has to be trolling. I think it's like a negative comment, but it has to be trolling. It says, "Why you toxic loser ruins oh, yeah. stream?" He he was on my stream. Uh, he said he's gonna unsubscribe from my channel now. <laughs> Uh, oh, I ruined your channel? Uh, I guess so. It's, it's a, yeah. Raise your, come to my house. I'll fight you in real life. I'm joking. Don't, please don't show it to my house. We're, we're just hanging out, playing some Pokemon, everyone. Also, this is like, when I was a kid, this was my, my dream, was just to like go over to my friend's place and just sit there and play Pokemon for a whole afternoon. But it was always the case that I'd like show up and they'd like, hey, we just got like a new game for the N64. Want to play that? And I'm like, no, I want to play Pokemon. <laughs> Focus. We used to play. We used to play so much Pokemon Snap. Oh, nice. Try to get the high school war and stuff like that. I don't know. The Razio guy is really confusing to me. I don't know. He probably want to elaborate. A lot of times when people leave, a lot of times when people leave comments like that, they're uh pretty cowardly i guess i'd say like they don't really respond back but like i'm legitimately confused <laughs> like it wasn't even a complete sentence <laughs> yeah there, yeah there's sometimes like that when i like i i actually can't tell from the comment i'm like wait are you like are you trying to make fun of me i'm like i'm not really sure so i just respond well, with says, what <laughs> how about do like inquisitor and Oh, I, yeah, I don't know what that means. Inquisitor. All right, what level? I'm are, just confused. What level are you at right now? I just hit thirteen. Okay. So I'm like I'm slowly catching back up, but I, I don't think. Do you think we'll be able to do it at fifteen? Uh, let me see how bad the thirteen goes. Okay, so you're gonna try thirteen. I don't. I'm not gonna try thirteen. <laughs> I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, I uh. I don't think it's going to be possible. If I had the time, I could... Maybe Inquisitor is like an exec, execute name in another language. Could I pay the real Hulk Hogan to say... Yeah, I'd pay Hulk Hogan to say Tombstoner. Sure. I'll just waste my money. 
Uh, this is probably not gonna work. Hey, you, you might, for... you know, you might knock the Geo dude out. <laughs> like, uh, no, I didn't make nah. it. I'll try it one more time. I'm actually, you know, what am I doing? Hang on. You, yeah, if you could like, if we find the level where we can knock Geo dude out, we could always just knock the Geo dude out over and over again. I don't know if that's faster than the forest. It might be. All right, so I got like some new skills here where I can like change things on my overlay. Oh, it's not working right now. Great. So everyone said, "Why didn't the Black Ops show, Black Ops show as re resets?" Um, because they're you made being that change recorded. a while ago, didn't you? Yeah, they're being recorded as blackouts now. So I don't think any of us wins a Pokemon battle. I'm pretty sure what's his face wins Razio. Uh, I did knock out the Geodude actually, but it's nice. not great. And I'm gonna you got take four the health, yeah. Um. I, yeah, I think if, like, I think if you put me in, like, a competitive Pokemon battle with anyone, it, it would be so painful. Imagine my channel back when I started and I had no idea how to play the game. That's how it would look. Yeah, Inquisitor and Pyrrhus wins, for sure. Yeah, Scott, I apologize. That was, like, a loyal viewer from the start, and I drove him away. Um, I don't know. It's okay okay <laughs> apparently hanging out and playing pokemon with someone is <laughs> is too much okay come on uh hitmon master if i'm am i looking for a skilled video this is just a hobby there's no way like maybe one day i'll give you a call maybe i'll need an editor but for the moment no i don't produce enough content to warrant an editor at the moment yeah the funds for an editor You win some, you lose some, you Raziel some. Oh gosh. You gotta be careful when training with struggle not to knock yourself out. Yeah. Not the goal. Okay, I'm almost 15. So I'm gonna try. I have a not a skilled 15. video editor, it's me. Yeah. Me too. My 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 video editing skills not so good. Every time I sit down to edit a video, I feel like I get better. And then I like look at someone else's video on YouTube and I'm like, oh no, like <laughs> I need to work harder. I Google 100 things to try to figure out some sort of preset they use and I can't find anything on it. Oh, there's this <laughs> preset that uh, Smith Plays Pokemon uh, the uses. The shake. Yeah. I want to know what it is. I messaged him on X to be like, hey, can you like tell me what it was? He never responded. It's just like, I really want to know what that preset is because I know I'm 100% sure it's just a drag and drop. But I don't know what it is. Well, see, when I was doing, like... Oh, my God, my dog's barking. See, it can't be, like... It has to be a certain kind of preset, because, like... It, it works on anything. Yes. So, it can't be position-based. It has to be something else-based. And I couldn't find anything on it, either. Like, like I see a lot of videos, not just Smith plays, but I see a lot of people just moving their stuff around. It's like, how can I have that where I can just drag it and drop it? But I know. And I have to like manually keyframe every single element every single time you put it on the timeline. Okay, so uh, I beat the Geodude with five health at level fifteen. That's about the same. I'm so, three ninety from. Oh. Oh, sword down a good few five dollars. Love both of you guys. Appreciate that. Uh, we'll get the Inquisitor run too. I got to redo Executor eventually, so we'll see it. I'm not gonna fight the level nine Pidgeotto. Yeah, I want to redo Executor too. I, I really wanted to get a better time with it, but then I ran out of time. It's like, I was planning to do like three runs, four runs, and then I just like run out of time. And it's like, well, I didn't get a good result. It's really annoying. It's been a minute since I've done it the first time, but I know it's, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's all right. Bad early game. Barrage is just on a next level bad. So bad. Oh my God. Yeah. Barrage is terrible. 42% accuracy on my Fury attack. Yeah, Red Eyes Solaris, we need to hope for crits. Yeah. I feel like that's wow. one way to beat Brock, is just like get really lucky with Fury attack getting crits. Yeah, but what if you use Focus Energy? <laughs> that's right. <You're> the... <laughs> Go to level 16 and get Focus Energy. Yes. I think that, well, I don't even, I shouldn't even say this. I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure J-Rose went to level 16 in his video. I just went back. I just looked for some inspiration, but I mean, his is one and done. I think his feature video is pretty old, but. Yeah, it's probably pretty I old. I know we're like on a different level of just being like, 
tedious like into the details of stuff but oh, I don't, tedious I don't, is the perfect word for it <laughs> i don't just think like... he knows well i just like stressing like uh it, like for example i just did a i just recorded a rapid ash run okay oh and... that that sounds awful i'm very sorry sorry for you now in red version <laughs> i don't want to leave any spoilers for anybody but actually pretty surprising oh uh, but I had the Gyarados mathematically down to where if it doesn't crit, I'll be I survive with like ten HP, <laughs> like every time, like a hundred percent consistent Gyarados. So Gyarados like, is the worst. Yes, this Gyarados, Gyarados ruins so many runs for fire types. Me raid, I'm confused. Oh my god, level fifteen just I must have missed a bunch. It, it, Man, this is might be worse than we thought. Yeah, I I think it's worse than I thought it was gonna be. I thought level fifteen would be decent chance, and then I thought if you go to eighteen, it's gonna be like guaranteed. Crusaders, who is Crusaders? I appreciate the raid. I've never even seen a raid on YouTube. Oh, that was a Twitch thing. I think you can uh, like send viewers places on YouTube. I think you can. Yeah, do that. but I've never seen it. I don't even know Crusaders raid TCG. Usually it'd be for somebody you know, like if it was like, oh, hey, thanks, Scott, for the raid or something. But I, yeah, I do yeah. appreciate it. I don't want to sound like I don't, but is Jerry Rose American? No. I think there's he's from a, Canada. I don't, like, there's a surprising amount of people from Canada, including I know. Scott here. Yeah. It, apparently, cold weather just produces good Poketubers. I yeah, don't know why. It's, it's pretty high up. Like, even a lot of other people I watch... Uh, like you look deep into it and it's like, yeah. oh, okay. We just have to stay inside all the time because the weather's so bad. So, well, I watch, uh, <laughs> there's like variety streamers I watch. There's like a couple of League of Legends streamers that I used to watch. And it's just like, where are they from? And it's like, they're from Canada, Canada too. And I started like drawing these dots and I was like, man, what is it? Yeah, what are we doing up here? MXR? It's like YouTube just outsourced all their labor to Canada. It's like, you guys take care of it. They just see the location. Oh. I'm just going through the motions here. I've just been holding down Me too. Turbo I, A. <laughs> I, I, I looked up at the time and it was like 17 and a half minutes. Like, wait, actually? Like, <laughs> this I'm is. I'm at 53 minutes in game time. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. Oh, that's another thing. Um, oh. At the end of this run, like, what we should expect to see from um, the two runs, like, you should have a lower game time than I should because. My run is going to be less efficient frame wise because, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. because of how the human perception cycle works, uh, I'm going to be bleeding small amounts of time all over the place just because I can't react quite as quickly. Whereas when the game speed is at a lower multiple, like three times, then you can react just a little bit more precisely. Okay, I'm level 17. Um, do I go to 18? I'm going to try 17. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna start blowing me away, but yeah, the in game time. There's some blackouts I'm doing here though. Like, yeah, you're gonna be on Brock. I'm gonna be like beat surge or something because <laughs> it's. I'm I feel like the tired. run's gonna speed up from here. I didn't think it'd be this bad, and we're on like what I thought would be like okay, yeah, like maybe a lot. At first, I was like maybe 13 for the Brock split on yellow, maybe 15 on red. It's looking like. Man, are you done with Brock? No. <laughs> I'm trying to beat the Geo, dude. <laughs> this is not good. I'm having some inefficiency here. I forgot to deposit my Pidgey, so I, I have to reset uh, to the Geo, dude. Now, I had been thinking about um, on. something to code in, like, pretty easy, I would yeah. guess. Well, we know, just make it to where your other Pokemon are always fainted. Their HP is always set to zero. Yeah. Something I've never done, but I've thought about for a while. But. Normally, like, if I'm playing yellow, I won't even catch the PG. I'll just catch it on the next route, like, mm. uh, if I'm blacking out a lot. But it wouldn't even matter what you do if you just did it to where you just black out no matter what. Okay. So now, it'd be helpful in Gen 2 specifically because of uh, the late-game battles that have uh, Roar or Whirlwind. Oh, the, yeah. There's a, a... Snowy has a patch for that where it, like, uh, it tells the AI that you only have one Pokemon in your party. That'd for Gen 2. So they don't use moves like Roar and then um, like uh, Morty and stuff won't prioritize Mean Look. Because oh, they try to make it a little tougher. Yeah. Um, oh, the uh, 
I'm wondering now if training south of uh, Pewter City actually makes I've more sense than the forest. I just came to that forest. conclusion. Yeah. That it's this like, geodude takes an hour. <laughs> yeah. And uh, getting more attack stat experience here will mean that like the attack stat might be one or two points higher, and then we might get uh, two damage per hit from Fury attack sooner. You know, I just had a pretty solid attempt here. Uh, you know, we got the Sonics down to about 60% HP. But there's no way. Yeah, Shadow Titan, Hyper Beam is not a valid option for speedruns. <laughs> Matt and I were talking about that before we went live on the stream. Uh, it just takes too long buying 50 coins at a time. Just... And if you're like on an optimized run, usually your items are down to a pretty precise spot yeah. and you have to route in the coin case and like probably have to deposit more items or drop more items. Yeah, like I don't think people always appreciate because it's hard to show it in a video, but like I don't think people appreciate just how much time is spent like managing the inventory in Generation 1. So if you're going to pick up a bunch of high priced items and then sell them, you're going to have to deposit uh, key items and then spend a, spend time walking to the mart, selling the items, getting the money. Yes. And then on top of all that, it's buying the coins. Uh, so it becomes a huge time investment. Like Even if you can sit there and just turbo A through it, it's still... I did the math one time. I don't remember. I think I did it in a video, but like it was uh, quite a while. Yeah. I, in the Legendary Birds video that I just released, I, I did like, I went through and I cut out every single spot where I was doing something related to getting Hyper Beam and then put it all uh. together in like one big long clip. I, I forget how long it was, but it was it was quite long. Like I think it was like five minutes or something. Four minutes. Yeah, and like Hyper Beam... There's been one run where it was absolutely necessary, and it was like a gimmick run. It was the Generation 1 Shedinjo run. Like, it was the only run that I've ever, like, had to have it. Like, for example, I redid Scyther on stream last year. The original <laughs> video where I was less experienced, I got oh, Hyper Beam. But the new one, yeah. I didn't get it, and it was much, much yeah. faster. Yeah. I thought Hyper Beam was going to be best for Scyther, and that was what I did when, with my first attempt back. But then after that, I realized yeah it's not as good to do because you can figure out all the damage ranges so you don't need more damage you just need to be very precise with setup from swords dance yeah because even with swords dance like i mean even something like wing attack like hits like a truck okay like, it's eight... not like like it's overkill you know okay i'm about to beat brock 18 it's going to be just over 23 minutes 23 minutes and one second i'm brock's in an hour what? and 10 minutes i i think eight i think 18 is going to do it for you Man, that means red version is gonna be like oh, I, yeah, twenty maybe. Maybe it's gotta be yeah, 20. and it's and it's probably still depend on uh. Well, if you get twenty, yeah, you got twin needle and you're good. Yeah, twin needle like is really saying. good. Everyone is probably sleeping on twin needle. Twin needle is excellent. Yeah, seventy four effective power. I think like yeah. that's pretty good. Gonna be your go-to, and you think about it. Even on Agatha, she's since poison's weak to bug, it's gonna be neutral damage. She's weak defensively, so yeah, it's gonna melt through that. It's gonna melt through the Alakazams. And I think there's gonna be a lot of situations where you'd use it even if it's resisted, like mm -hmm. maybe even I don't know. You might just double edge Blaine or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if you use double edge on a first playthrough, but uh, I think for this one, pretty, I'm gonna be <laughs> pretty rough blind played through move i like it when you can plan around it like you know exactly miss. weird i don't i'm just looking at the moves here i think it's gonna be pretty standard i think it's like i think twin needle swords dance double edge and maybe swift for a good portion yeah and i can see like mimic. mega drain Mim mimic and mega drain being situationally useful like giovanni's ride on mega drain i think oh yeah because I Get some health back. don't think we're knocking that thing out with physical damage. Yeah, because um, Double Edge and Mega Drain have a lot of synergy. Yes. Oh my god. I keep running out of... I can't hit 18 because I keep running out of PP and I can't just... I'm not going to sit here and focus energy 30 the, times. The most frustrating thing, you go into a battle against a wild Pokemon, you're like you have like 2 PP of Fury attack left, then both of them miss, and you're like, oh, <laughs> I have to go back to the center. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> 
Oh, it feels so bad. An hour in game before Brock. An hour and 15 minutes in game. Yeah, the TCG music's really good. I've started to use it a lot more. Is that okay? I was watching uh, one of your videos the other day, and during the Brock fight, there was like different music that I had never uh, heard before. I got you. Is that the TCG uh, music? No, it's Pokemon Coral. It's a. Uh, and I'm not saying, if you watch The Walking Dead, I'm not saying Carl, like Rick Grimes says it. Coral, like okay. Corsola. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Coral. And I, you can find the music on SoundCloud. I don't know if it's like that's awesome. So, something I should do, but I'm like, yeah, I'll give credit. If anybody asks, I'll tell them. That's sweet. They got some pretty good stuff. Well, I didn't know about Coral too much. I think Batel, the assistant, did a video on it, and like some of the uh, music in there. I was like, I was like, that music's really good. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go listen to the soundtrack. Yeah, whoever wrote I the it, soundtrack it's to uh, track down though, like. It wasn't just on YouTube. Okay, Twin Needle. Once you get Twin Needle, this starts feeling exceptionally easy. Like, Mount Moon was so simple. Because everyone, ha I'll remind everyone again, bu uh, bug moves are super effective against poison types in this generation. So Twin Needle will do four times damage to grass poison types and two times damage to regular poison types. Uh, I got screeched and bond, but I do think 18 is definitely possible. Yeah. Looks like wait, you just wait, had wait. bad luck. The TCG games on the Nintendo Switch? I got that game. I played it. I actually downloaded the uh, English patch for the second game that came out in Japan, but never released over here. Uh, I like the TCG game a lot. Did you ever play that Game Boy Color uh, trading card game? I Pokemon? did not. I did not play that one. God, it was so fun. That and uh, I think a little bit ago, like I took a little break and I was I played Pokemon Pinball. Uh, Twin Needle is just two attacks. Yeah, Pinball. I I never played Pinball either. It's one of the only moves in the game um, that has multiple effects on the same move. Like it's a Wait, pretty unique. Twin it has needle. multiple like, effects. It has a twenty percent chance to poison on the second hit too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And it has the uh, hit two times effect as well. It's a pretty unique move. And it's, I guess, yeah. That's I true. I love signature moves. Like, it, because, it has like, its own effect in the assembly, like a twin needle effect or something like uh, that. Ah, I never thought of that because other multi-hit moves don't have secondary effects. They just are yeah, like a multi-hit Yeah, they just have the um, hit two to five turns, I think it's ah, called. Ah, that's cool. I got to mention that when I make this into a video. I, I just love, I like to draw attention to any signature move. I, I love the signature moves, even if they're it's like not good. Bone meringue. Like, why? God. <laughs> why not make it better than Earthquake? Is it 80% accurate? Oh, that's bone meringue. I'm thinking of uh, bone club. I, I think it's, I think it is less accurate, though. I think it's like maybe like 90, 90, I 90 think. 90 maybe? Yeah. 90 hits twice exactly the same power as Earthquake. Like, why? Why is it weaker? Yeah. This music is so good. The gym leader battle music. Uh, Gen 1? Yeah, Gen 1. Yeah, I did really like good. it. What's your favorite generation? Oh, no. Oh, no. One music. Favorite generation one music is probably the champion theme. I really like the champion I like theme. It. I find myself really liking. Um, I like the game corner music a lot. And I really like uh, Arrival Appears. Oh you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Uh, I wish the arrival appears was a little bit longer because it's pretty short. Oh, I, I made know. a um. I don't know if you've ever done this, but I, I made some custom like loops of it yeah. to make it last five every track in Gen One last five minutes. Yeah, because I was getting really tired of those minute long tracks. Yep. I really like the game corner music. You know that little part where it goes like doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the so game good. corner game corner music is so good. There's I remember a lot of good music in there. Yeah, there's a lot of good music in this game. I remember when as a kid, I would go into certain locations and just stay there so that I could listen to the music, like the Safari Zone to hear the evolution theme. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, Austin made that um, the music thing where you could hear the music on regular speed. Yes. And I tried it out. Chat didn't love it. But I liked it, but the, the thing I forgot, especially when you're doing a speed run, is that all you hear is the bike music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on the bike all the time. Hear. 
Yeah. I don't even get to hear. It's just the bike music all the time. I battled the super nerd. That's probably not necessary. I fought I the super nerd, too. I think training's done. I fought, just... I fought, like, some trainers in Mount Moon to get Twin Needle as fast as possible. And then, like, I fought her because, uh, four times damage. And then Twin Needle, uh, just speeds up the last two trainers so much. I just like, got it. Yeah, it's, it's so fast. I do gotta make a quick pause because... Uh, my controller options never save, and I when I make a new ROM, I have to just load yeah, and save my thing. So I, let me load that. Okay, we're good. It messes with my um. Uh, what am I trying to say here? It messes with my reordering items because I have select on the <laughs> X button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then <gasps> you just can't. And you just can't like it'll yeah. just cancel. Yeah. I have like a different controller config for every single game that I play. Oh, Sometimes yeah, I forget to. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Misty was very easy. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Slice, slice to her pretty easy. I'm probably done. I battled the hacker. I don't know if like. Yeah. The hacker's the best thing. You can't quite two shot it. And then it's just not in a range where you can use um. Fury attack to finish it off, so you have to kind of waste some PP, but I think I've got plenty. Oh, I tried to battle the rocket here. I'm used to playing red. Matt's on my phone, Scott's on my laptop. Nice. Perfect. Oh, no. Now call your family, call your friends, get them to open up the stream. That's right, everyone. Capcom music's great, yes. The wrong trainer art loaded. Uh-huh. I know. What? Someone said the wrong trainer art loaded. I know. There's been so many bugs today. I'm sure oh, there's gonna you're be... talking about on the on the side of the overlay? Yeah. There, I, okay, that's not... There's going to be a whole here. bunch of stuff that I need to fix. Luckily, we have the right Pokemon loading. Um, earlier today, every time I went into a battle, it would just load the completely incorrect team over on the right-hand side of the screen. And I didn't change the software. There was a game hook update. So, like, I have no idea why it was doing that. But very, very frustrating. Yeah, that is strange that it would do that. Yeah, fire spin does not burn. It is the only fire move that doesn't burn. I think it'd be like, God, they they were so cautious with fire spin. Like they thought that yeah, it's it gonna was be the best. Yeah, they're like, this move is gonna be too good. We need to <laughs> make it seventy yeah, percent like accuracy. Seventy percent accuracy. No no side effects or anything on it at all. Like it'd be too strong. Yep. And they even put it. I think Fire Spins the char, uh, the card uh, Charizard has on this, you know, the famous yes, card. Yes. So they thought they thought high, very highly of Fire Spin. Yeah, this, this move is going to be great. No, no. And they no, were it's... like Moltres. Moltres <laughs> don't need flamethrower. Give it. <laughs> Give it the best fire move. Fire Spin. You start with Fire Spin. This has got to be the best. Uh, for a, uh, as a yeah. kid, though, it was just oh, we we have a a null loading there. That's a. A null bro on what? Uh, like the Growlithe image is just null and has like the sad image sign where it's like there's no image. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what would cause that because it's like just reading the game data to find the yeah. species, right? Or whatever. I, I might be missing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what would cause that. Range. Maybe they shifted something down, but that doesn't make any sense, does it? No. Like, it'd still be the same addresses. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't that's know. Just another, that's just another problem. I'm done. I gotta edit this Rapidash video. And I'm done with Gen 1 for a while. I gotta finish yeah. up my crystal stuff. Nice. Well, I had seen you posted a thing about auto finally releasing, like, the first version of the Emerald router. Yes, the router now works for Emerald. And... I don't have an emerald overlay, so I was like, whatever. We'll talk about that later. I don't want to talk about... I don't want to get started on encrypted data on the stream. Oh, my gosh. We could talk about that for, like, four hours. <laughs> Just my the life. encrypted data of the stream. Yeah. If people are wondering why I don't release more videos, it's because <laughs> I'm constantly working on how to decrypt the Pokemon data. Now, I heard from the Grapevine that you have a version of one of the ROMs that you have, like, went into the ROM itself yeah. and decrypted the ROM so that you yeah. can read the properties better. We turned off the encryption in Gen 3 because if you go and watch my early Gen 3 videos, 
it, oh, Surge is going to beat me. <laughs> Double Thunderbolt. Wow. Okay. That's rare. What yeah. does he have? Four moves? Does he have Growl? Four, yeah, he's four. Yellow? Yeah, Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Growl. And with the X speed. Again? So that's a pretty low Again. Chance. Two Thunderbolts again. We have seven. Oh, wow, I do have a... Huh, got 110 fear. That's a record. Pop the champagne. Ah. Uh, Pop the bubbly, everyone. Okay, this time I'm going to do it. Finally. Does 20... Oh, I forgot. I, in my fury, I was using twin needle on everything, and I forgot that fighting resisted it. Yeah, it does. How's my day been? It's been pretty good. Anyways, Can't yeah, complain. coming coming back to like the decrypted ROM. Oh yeah. Um, if you go and watch my very first Emerald videos, you'll see a lot of stuff flickering all over the screen. Like it just kind of like stuff like text oh, will just that. flash in and out. That's because. It flashes in and out when the game when like game hook can't find a reference for the value at that location, and that's because the game is currently encrypting the data in that block. So uh, we tried to find ways to make it so that that doesn't happen. Uh, the flicker doesn't happen. Like work around it. Like watch other properties. Tell it when it should be looking at things so that it doesn't flicker. Uh, but we just couldn't do it consistently enough. So we had to edit the encryption algorithm so that it just doesn't ever change the data i notice it on i don't want to call out anybody here and i don't mean to but uh i watch a lot of speedrunner streams and uh the same thing like you know his is just kind of basic but there's times where stuff comes in and out of existence like all of a sudden hey i have the seventh badge you know and then it's gone yeah like it's just stuff moving around a lot and i'd wondered about that yeah, it's it. Yeah, with Gen three, it's it's encryption stuff. Would you say is Crystal longer than Emerald? That's gonna no. be a big no. No, Emerald yeah. is the longest game. I, I think Emerald is longer than Platinum. Hey, this is just like the Simpsons meme. You know where he puts his uh, hand on Bart's shoulder and says, "Longest game yet." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Gen we, seven. Gen seven. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be very long. You're gonna be spending three hours in the tutorial. No. Now I would love, I would love uh, it if a modder just went in and said, "Hey, we just removed all the tutorials, uh, tutorials for you." I actually like Gen Seven a lot. Yeah. Like, if it if it just had less dialogue, I, it would be such a fun game. Try to use the escape rope, in Bill's house. Um. There was a time a couple of years ago where I was like, you know what? I'm pivoting. I'm going to be doing all Gen 7 solo runs from now on. No. I, so and I downloaded the uh, Citrus or whatever it's called, yeah. emulator, and I got started. I was going to do a, a Lowland Grimer solo run. I made it to the first Totem Pokemon, and it yeah. was already five hours long. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, whew, I don't have enough, I don't have enough uh, space. Okay, I just made it by the self-destructing hiker, and it was kind of sketchy, honestly. Sounds like it's kind of like luck based. Do you think it's a I rester? Think, I think I think if you teach rest, it's very consistent. But I don't think you need rest. Uh, and like the reason I didn't choose to teach rest is just because I want to save it for the champion, and I want to have a little bit more move set oh, flexibility yeah. throughout the mid and late game. Because if you teach yeah, rest it, now, it's like it's on your set, and you got to keep it if you want it for later. And you can always use, um, I guess, reflect to for it. No, it, it's not. You're probably never going to use reflect. I don't even know why I got it written down on my thing. You could use reflect for Blaine, maybe. Sometimes yeah, it's useful maybe against even, him. Maybe even rival. Uh, five. Yeah, Lolan Muck. Yeah, we might have an Alolan Muck run down the pipeline. I don't know yet, guys. Growl. That would be fun. Alolan Muck? I like Alolan Muck a pretty good bit. It's an awesome design. It really is. He's got, like, yeah. teeth. I know. That aren't his own. <laughs> so good. Uh, I'm actually going to overbuy potions. Yeah, I, I bought uh, a lot of potions, too. <laughs> I was like, double edge. on Nugget Bridge, I had to backtrack to the Pokemon Center, which is, I never like doing that. Okay, no, so like, I did too, but 
I'm yeah. fine with it. I have a extra. Oh my god, I get. I'm stuck on red. I just, I just fully optimize a red run. So I got red brain right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad I only play one game from each generation at the current time because <laughs> I get mixed up. Yeah, like a it's lot. the the differences between red and yellow are very subtle. Like you, you don't even care. And I'm even using the same palette for both games now. So. Oh yeah, that messed you up even more. Yeah. I, I have it. I don't ever use any like yellow palettes for red anymore, just because that gets really confusing. God's voice changed. Uh, well, I forgot to renew my allergy medication, so my voice might sound a little bit deeper today than it uh, normally does. I was wondering what you're about to say. I was like, renew your what? <laughs> what yeah. Would, what would you renew to change your voice? I was thinking. I was yeah. Like, I forgot to renew the AI Scott voice. I know, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My subscription to voicegeneration.com. Have you ever thought about it? Like, you could get a program to, like... Yeah, they, it works... Really imitate... Yeah, it works really well for, like, two or three words to do, like, retakes. <laughs> if you want to change one word, it works really well. Uh, but if you <laughs> string together an actual sentence, uh, you can immediately tell. Yeah, but what about a two-hour video no 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 it's just gonna break down in the middle of it and start going scott 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 <laughs> and I... then you come back to the comments and people are just like this is the best video you ever done no that <laughs> there are, that is really real though like there are so many okay wait which vitamins i think protein right yeah Probably, I'm going to do a bold strategy. I'm going to try to go vitamless on the blind run. Ooh. That way I can just be like, you know what? I was really short here. Because I fall into this trap for me personally on my last, I want to say my last few runs that I've done. Like, I just bought like five plus vitamins. I was just like, I'll buy, buy, buy. And like, I don't know where it helps me. And yeah. I feel like I don't learn a whole lot. Yeah. They don't help as much as people think they do. Uh, like, they really don't. Like the damage ranges, like chance to KO, it, it goes up by like maybe 1% from using a vitamin. So, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Rival and Pokemon Tower beat me. Granted, I didn't heal before him, but he's usually easy, so I was, didn't think I need to, but I guess I did. Oh my god, I learned dig before cut. Oh my god. Red brain. Matt, 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 appreciate that. Appreciate you saying my name that much. Probably teach double edge. So you've now. already made it to Celadon, got your Pokey Doll. Yeah. Did you just take on Erica real quick? No, I skipped that. I think I should have done that first. I think good AI well, in yeah. red version, good AI is gonna make the um uh Victory Bell only use poison powder. So it's a free mm. win, I think. But I don't know exactly how it would work in yellow because she starts with the Tangela. I mean, it's a Tangela. I think the Tangela is only going to use its normal moves. It's going to be uh, bind and constrict, yeah. Oh, Real yeah. Real Gambler Alex, appreciate that. We don't uh, have I'm a... going to have to reset here. I might have put myself in a bad position. Did Surge get you? No, I just... um wasn't paying attention to anything and i didn't i forgot i forgot to save no oh never mind i'm good i'm good i didn't i made a safe state i thought oh, i okay, saved good. state as the battle started so i <sighs> couldn't do anything about it i don't want to use an elixir but i only have i got to yeah using elixir early on never feels very good no because you can just pick up there's two ethers i could have picked up yeah I always get those in first playthroughs, even though I know it slows me down. But I, I just play, like, quite conservatively. I use yeah, that's always the best approach. Guess he used I all my anyway. potions? No, there's potions here. Yellow. I'm playing yellow. I gotta remember that. Yeah. There's been quite a few runs lately uh, that I tested in yellow like so deep i'm talking like i've made it like 90 something percent through the game mm -hmm. and i made it like somewhere late into the game and i'm like okay maybe this isn't the fastest version yeah and so I like had to just restart i'm i'm actually curious like tell me what your process looks like when you're so like say you sit down to 
figure out a Pokemon, like, I don't know, Rapidash, what does your process look like? Uh, well, first, I'll usually look at the Brock split, and I'll just okay. be like, how bad is this going to be? So, like... We can only imagine how bad it's going to be on Beedrill, and that'll be like the first thing. It's like, is the Brock split so much better in yellow that it can offset the late game? Does the Pokemon learn good enough moves to where it can just not worry about Giovanni or not worry about Blaine or something like that? Like, because yeah. you know, some Pokemon, like, like Tauros, for example, I'm pretty sure Tauros is going to be one of those Pokemon where it's like, he would appreciate that easier split and he gets the stats yes. and the moves to not care, but. Growlithe, for example, I went so deep in yellow version, and then I made it to Giovanni, and I was like, "Oh, Growlithe's no. not that good." <laughs> Growlithe, Growlithe might as well spend some more time on Brock. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times it's Koga that trips me up, uh, specifically on like uh... in yellow version. Yes. Yeah. Like when I'm routing, because like there's a really tough decision in the mid game because like you got so much stuff happening all at once and it's just like you're just walled everywhere yeah I agree. and like sometimes in red version you can squeak past um you can squeak past koga he's not as hard make it down to blaine because he has lower level pokemon and the pokemon like the that he does have are not as good well if, and if you get um if even if you have struggles on it like rapidash doesn't have a great koga fight in red but if you mm. have to you can just get reflect right or if you're doing really risky what i do i kept growl because rapidash learns no moves and uh if you're worried about self-destruct you can just use that but like tentacool specifically was like it made it to that koga fight and it was just like mm, they all know psychic and like <laughs> rival five's tough like and i was like yeah. okay let's just swap back over but it's usually i usually feel it out I played Bulbasaur on red, but I have a suspicion that Bulbasaur might just be good enough to just do it on yellow. I think it might have a slightly... Just because Bulbasaur doesn't care about anything. It just puts it to sleep, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's, it's a good Pokemon. Yeah, any Pokemon that gets sleep moves in Gen 1, really, really, really fantastic. Like, Victory Bell is... Have you done Victory Bell yet? I haven't. I've been holding off. I've seen how good it was. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's ridiculously good. Uh, yeah, I don't know, like, it might, it might, I think it's going to be second place overall when all is said and done, but. Yeah, because Mewtwo Alakazam's is, not a factor. Yeah, not in yellow. Alakazam's my current second, and I still think it can improve a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's got a pretty good set. I can't see anything that could top it. I got a lot of bangers left to do, a lot of good po stuff to do, but you know, can't do everything good at once. Because yeah. we'll be stuck with, we'll be stuck with Pidgey and Nidoran runs. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do Pidgey. I don't want to do Pidgey either. I was, yeah. Pidgey, Pidgey is... had a surprisingly decent run. I don't know. I think it's yeah. just for me, like, I just enjoy the process. I just like ranking everything. Uh, and I'm interested to see how it all looks at the end. Yeah. Even Pokemon that I, like, don't want to play, like, it's never that I actually don't want to play them. It's... I, uh, I sometimes, to... like, I fear the optimization process. So you fear it? Yeah, like, for some Pokemon. Yeah, uh, sometimes it gets a little out of hand. Like, it could become... It really... It, it, for me, it's like middle-of-the-pack Pokemon that are the worst, because they're not bad, so you, it's not like you feel obligated to do it, but they're, like, good enough to where you could see a lot of stuff being better, and, like, you could just keep tweaking away at them. Yeah. And then, like, if you just release... Sometimes you just release the run, and somebody will just be like, hey, why don't you do this? And you're just like, of course. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's always the most painful thing when they, they get, like, write a comment, like, right after, like, first day it comes out, and it's like, oh, how did I miss that? Like... I thought of everything. Yeah, it's, like, such an obvious... Like, I, I tried so many different things, and then there's just this one obvious choice that I somehow missed. I did this run... Ten times, I didn't think of it once. 
Yeah. I don't like I I fall into the trap a lot. Like I'll uh, I'll miss something obvious. Yeah, me too. I got uh I got sand attacked a lot from this tamer. Tamer, uh the sand slash? Yeah, in Koga's gym. This guy has great experience yields, but yeah, I'm always iffy on some of the tamers. I'll look at the ranges on it, and it's like, yeah, is it worth to get past? I'm actually going to go Erica first, see how that works. Yeah, I think that's the better idea. Go to Erica first. I think Cyclone Road is going to be a gold mine with Twin Needle. Yeah, of experience. I fought only three trainers there. Fought three. I might. We'll see. I'm going to... Honestly, I don't, I don't like fighting Erica trainers too much. I don't think I'm going to do too much. I might battle a couple. Usually I make the full sweep, but I've gotten away from it. I will go the middle route, even though I would love to see the double super effective damage on Execute. It's still double super effective on all these ones. Oh, it is, yeah. Never yeah, because they're poison types wow. too. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's doing 300 effective power on two hits. I just I was gonna go into Koga's gym and then uh, I realized all of a sudden that this isn't really a bad idea. <laughs> so now I'm going to Sylph. I, think, I can see that. I think I think the play is in the future going to be Sylph first to grab Swords Dance as soon as possible, then go to Koga's gym. I agree. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. I'm trying to catch up. I'm a little bit behind. Oh, I should have picked up. I don't know what I should have picked up. I don't know what the route's going to be here. I like to pick up fly before I do Erica's gym, just so you can fly yep. when you get out of it. Yeah, me too. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna hold the, off on the bye. Like the the different approach is if you go to Erica's gym first, then you have more money for the department store, so you can sometimes buy one more vitamin. But I, I don't ever know if that's worth it. I think it's hard to know. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll um. I'll just rush fly, get it, fly back to Celadon, then go down to Erica, then fly back, and then since I do the hideout, I'll uh, come back down. I need to heal. And you guys can see that, uh, yeah, bug move and it poisons. Specifically made for Drill. Okay, I got Sword uh, Stance. I completely lost my train of thought. So you guys are going to see, we've done a few blind runs on stream. It's just, it's not efficient. It's not, they're not great runs, but it's cool to see where it ends up. Also, everyone, Matt is playing on three times game speed, so don't compare our results. There is a reason that I am ahead. Yeah, we're just slit. We're just steady trucking. I'm gonna use. P I don't normally use a lot of PP ups, but I've ran out of twin needle PP a lot already. Oh, the rival sand slash hurts. Oh, I should use swift. Uh, rival five. Rival five, yeah. With um slash, or yeah what? the the slant the sand slash did like more than half. With slash with or slash. Just poison sting with okay. slash, yeah. I think what I was curious about, you know how like if you're grass poison, it was like oh it's grass weak to poison. I'll use poison moves. Yeah, um, I don't think it does. that. I don't think yeah I don't think bugs yeah. in that same order. Okay, we got oh, double stop edge. sand attacking me. I am just going to pick up the high money items out of uh, habit, but like, I don't think I'm going to buy. I think our speed's good enough just to say, hey, with one Swords Dance, probably outspeed everything. There's a chance when we make it to the Gengars, I wish I had a couple of Carboses. But... Looks like the Jolteon is locked into Poison uh, Pin Missile, by the way. Pin Missile. That makes a lot of sense. I think Poison is higher on the list, so... Maybe whatever. Maybe that's how it goes. Yeah. They had that chart out there. I guess we can look at it sometime. Mm -hmm. I, that chart is like, I have never memorized it, so I don't. It's like so much information. No, yeah. Well, there's already, yeah, there's so much information that, yeah, you don't want to cram more in there. Yeah. Man, this is a slow. This is a slow run, yeah. This is a slow burn. How many people are watching both streams? Uh, I don't know. I've got like, I think it says 668. We need one more per person. So 670 total, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Everyone go turn on Matt's stream so you can see <laughs> his playthrough. Oh, I forgot about Jesse and James. Have you watched the video for... What is the channel we're talking about with the shake? Is it Smith Plays? Yeah. Have you watched this thing for Yellow Legacy that no. he's coming out with? Or do you think he's took, taking it too far? Uh, I, I am intentionally avoiding watching any of his videos. Because I want to play the game and I want to have an unspoiled experience. So I, I haven't looked at the videos yet. I watched the first little bit of the Crystal oh, Legacy no. one. And then I just decided um, I'm not watching it anymore. I'm going to come back to this when I'm ready to play the game. Okay, that's I'm bad. just being self-deprecating, Pablo. I'm not... We got more than two people here. This is great. This is the okay. biggest stream I've ever had. Okay, I have a strategy for Koga. Uh, agility, turn one. Sword Stance, turn two. Then Sweep with Twin Needle. Okay, does the agility... For the Venomoth? Yeah, for the Venomoth. And you, you like, technically two-hit it with Twin Needle, so it goes down in one turn. Is it good AI and he's always going to use... Yeah, Psychic. Psychic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the first Venonat almost knocked me out and it lowered my special, but then I'm faster and had enough damage to one-hit everything else. Interesting. I got Dig in slot one because I forgot Charmander has a different order than Paris. So oh, no. Yeah. Uh, let's go here. I could go to tower right now and just take it on. But I'm going to go ahead and... Well, actually, I can. I need repels. Austin. Someone's asking about Austin's channel in the chat. Uh, I think Austin, Austin might actually be here. Austin was in my chat earlier. He's probably around somewhere. Yeah, if Austin, if you're here, please link to your channel. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Austin's there. Link to your channel. Type in Austin Pokemon. I think there's a. I think there's actually a like a huge, huge channel. Yeah, there is. Like there is. Something Austin. Austin John plays, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get Johned if you do that. What uh, if that was just Austin's channel and he's just here on the side? Yeah, he's just hanging out with us. <laughs> the small time name, solo John? runners. I may I have no doubt that Austin John's probably okay. I don't I don't watch the content. I think I've probably watched a video or two in my past, like across his channel. He's big enough to where I just know. But I yeah. can't say I watch his content enough to tell you if he's a good guy or not. Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> okay. I think Sabrina next, although my speed is not very good. Luckily I have Swift. Oh the against Sabrina you can do the like oh, flash yeah. swift agility strat with swords dance too. So I'll Sabrina tell you that is it free. Feels pretty bad. Oh no. I'm gonna lose the rival four as well. Oh no. Because I had no planning. <laughs> yeah. I did not plan on this. If we both And lose... I saved it at the Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Did you beat him? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I... I'm just like zoned out, blind run. I'm not really making smart plays. Like I'm not stopping, saving it, analyzing. Like I'm just like, oh, safe state. Yeah. And it'll come back to bite me. So yeah, because like in your process, the first run is more of like just an exploration of the Pokemon, not really like. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. Yeah, you're just yeah, seeing what it's like. I don't normally even record these runs or anything. Like every once in a while, we'll do that, but for the most part, like I'm just like, just getting a feel. Agility. Uh, yeah. Okay, I made it to Blaine. Um, I don't know if this is rare candy time. You could just get lucky, though. You know, I'm you never faster know. Faster than. Most of his Pokemon? Let's try and get lucky. Uh, flamethrower turn one. Critical hit. That That's a one shot. Okay. okay. So that's not good. Um, agility. Swords dance. Flamethrower. One shot without a crit. Yeah, we only have that 45 base special. Okay. I'm going to do something else then. 
It's hard to know how to use your candies on the blind run. I know. Like, I could just 10 candy now and go to, like, I don't know, uh, go to, like, 55, but I feel like that's a little bit too low to beat the game at. 55. Yeah, because yeah. maybe hit level 60 at the, by the end or something. Yeah. If you did no more training. Uh, this is just Mario 3 music. World 7. It is World 7, yes. How's vacation going? Well, it's fun. Doing a lot of programming. It's been great. A lot of swords dance. Yeah, a lot of swords dance today. More training on Cycling Road? Yeah, I think I probably should have done more. Imagine if Fire Spin was 100% accurate. I mean, that'd be kind of busted. Yeah, Moltres would be amazing. Like, in terms of consistency. Yeah, maybe not <laughs> He's fast, like the most consistent Pokemon out there. He just starts with it, and he, never, he can't lose a battle. It doesn't matter. You could triple resist Fire. He's still going to win, doing yeah. more damage a tick. Uh, okay, we just got that. I think we go Heavy Training. We got the benefit of being a little bit behind, so... Yeah, Sword Sense and Double Edge can work, yeah. I need, like, a little bit more experience. I'm trying to think of where the best place to get it is. Probably over here. I got seven bikers on my mind. They're about to get twin I needled. I think this run might be a power plant candy run. It really doesn't take that long, like... it's for, It's like 40 seconds. Yeah, if you know the route, you don't really bump into stuff, like, it's not bad, and, like, if you're gonna battle... For me, it's like, if I could use this to cut out five battles, especially yeah. when you're getting to that point where the battles aren't guaranteed, they could be a little iffy. Yep. It's like, if you're doing, like, three or four battles, you can just cut it out for that one candy. Or, or if you can cut early game trainers and use a candy before Misty or something like yes. that, uh, it can be much better to just grab the power plant candy. The Brock split on this one kind of like... It ruins it. It threw it on its head. Like, yeah. I thought it was going to be a, a get by at 13, and I was like, well, maybe you can use an early candy, um, get Twin Needle a little bit earlier, skip all the training, and just go straight to Misty, and then just catch up later. Uh, but no, the Brock split was... Okay, I'm using scary. Candies. Candy time. They should have put a candy in front of Brock. Or a TM. Around. Anything. Some like, I don't kind. think they should have put... They shouldn't have put Water Gun there, but... They could have put... Imagine that. Low Kick or something, you know? And they could have retooled some Pokemon to learn it. Uh, don't hit myself, please. Okay. Okay. Come on. No! <laughs> I don't want that PP up. Alright, this, uh, this is a little bit rough for Blaine. I can only imagine. I'm trying to think about it now. It's really rough. Because, like, the Ninetales has Confuse Ray. So if you're setting up Swords Dance, you do more damage to yourself. And then it has a chance to, like, um, get Confu... Can, uh, sorry, a yeah, Flamethrower on you, which does so much damage. Yeah, b doesn't <laughs> have good... What I took do? myself from full health down to 10 hit points in one hit from self-inflicted damage on Confusion. Mm. <laughs> okay, I beat him, but uh, it was rough. I had to be level 55, so I used, like, um, a bunch of rare candies. How many did I use? Like, eight? A four blind? However many you got at this point. No, I saved a few for badge boosts to optimize for experience in the league, because I didn't want to... Oh, yeah. I didn't want to mess that up. And then, like, be on Agatha and just, like, leveling up at the wrong time, and she's just, like... Final Out Gengar uses Final Psychic, Gengar. yeah. You know what, you're right. I'll pick up this car bus. I'll cut out the distinction here. I'll cut out buying vitamins, but I'll still pick up some of the loose graps. Bespiquin? 
I like Vespa Clan. Vespa Clan has uh, multiple yeah, signature cool. moves. I do like believe. attack order and defense order, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have to heal. I'm out of potions. Rabombi. I like Rabombi, actually. Oh, I love that Pokemon. It's so cute. Little scarf. Uh, it's fairy in what? Is it fairy fairy bug. bug. Fairy bug, I think, yeah. Pretty good. Heal order. Oh, it's got three signature moves. Wow. Watch out. Okay, Giovanni. Come on. Dark Trio. Man, you're going to wipe. You can do whatever you want if you get done with this and you want to start the next run. By all means. But you might want to wait just so you're not... Yeah, I'll probably just to... wait. I imagine you need a little break. Yeah, like it's nice to have a one. break. I generally don't take much break on stream because I feel kind of guilty leaving everyone just with, like, dead... Oh... Mega Drain does not one hit the ride on and it one shots with Rock Slide. Mm. <laughs> That's very bad. Okay. Hmm. Was that a bad damage roll? Like, I hope that's a bad damage roll. I mean, that. I've seen it before where the ride on doesn't get one shot due to bad special. It's oh. rare, but Beedrill might just be the perfect. I got screeched. I think that's why it one hit me. Ah, uh, that'd probably do it. And I crit the next time and knocked it on one hit. Okay, so we're good. I don't even have double edge top. This is a pretty bad blind run. I think I had a crit on the Mega Drain the first time. We're good now. <laughs> Maybe Beedrill anymore. needs double team. Yeah. Let's get double team, agility, swords dance. <laughs> yeah. And Twin Needle, honestly, that's a pretty good set. Uh, Twin Needle can hit pretty much everything in the game, I think. I mean, you're going to have non 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 uh Yeah. <laughs> and everything pretty much with that many boosts. Mm-hmm. 12 boosts. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I... Why would I do this? Like, I'm in a position to get Swords Dance, and I'm like, well, I'll just stop and battle this trainer real quick. Like, why? Why not just get Swords Dance first? Yeah. It really depends on how some of the later fights look. If agility's even needed. Looking pretty good so far. I, I think agility is good in the mid game for some outspeeds. Yeah. Like Sabrina, uh, it's good there, but I think once you get to Blaine or Giovanni, it's good to get rid of it. We use a couple of these. Now we go get that juicy swords dance. Oops. That's not I wish I works. knew like some of their like methods behind like when they created this game. Like I wish yeah. I knew like why is Amnesia not a TM? Like why is Swords Dance and not Amnesia? Yeah, that's an interesting. I'm glad I'm I'm probably glad it's not, but Yeah, I think if Amnesia was a TM it would be like Curse in Gen 2 where it just like over centralizes how every Pokemon has to play. Yes. Because like if you it, learn it would Amnesia probably end up being bannable. Yeah, if you learn Amnesia, like of course you have to use it. I also I left oh, Victory Road after moving the boulder a little bit. Uh, I just got hit for like. What do you do? Percent of my health. What if you? What when you're finishing like you're filming your final run and you do something silly like in Victory Road you like leave the cave and then have to push the boulder a little bit more again? Do you just restart? <laughs> no, on in game time. Here's what I like about in game time outside of just being kind of close to yeah, like, looking at world record speed runs. In game yeah. time, if I do something really stupid. I don't have to waste 45 minutes. <laughs> that is true. I could just say no, because I always make a safe state right when I go into Victory Road because that and shopping, when I go to a, do a shop buy, I'll always just like sell the wrong item. Yes. Do something stupid. So, so uh, often I'm like watching something on my secondary monitor and then I look over right at the moment that my Pokemon levels up and starts learning a new move and I like teach it in the place of like Body Slam or something like that, like Tail Whip. Yes. That happened to me the other day. And for you, that's just like, Oh, this is over. Yeah, I I literally just like I like usually finish the battle because I'm a little bit salty. And then I just, just turn it off, like delete my save file, start again. Uh, I hate it. Uh, I'm picking up some minor extra training here, but I guess I'll go ahead and try rival five. Uh, what's my major? Uh, cool. That's probably a good question. I probably should know that off the top of my head. Give me a second. 
So I can actually think. I got rival five brain right now. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, computer engineering technology. Sweet. Uh oh, that's not a good battle. Maybe we go back and we train. Did you get Swords Dance, then go to Koga, or did yeah. you complete? Self? Oh, I completed Self because I was around level forty at that time. And usually, I like yeah, I, I usually like to fight the rival at forty with pretty much every uh, Pokemon. I got slashed instantly, so probably not like an outcome that's going to happen every single time. So yeah, but I'll get up to a couple levels. Okay, yeah, I'm Green Hill Zone. Going into Lorelei. <laughs> About to lure die. Oh, <laughs> uh, I hope not. No, I think I think this would be a good battle. Uh, cause rest on dugong only, right? Uh, no, it's yellow. So it, it uses. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Three yeah. out of five turns, it randomizes its choice. <laughs> or it's two out of five turn, turns. Turn two is a uh, eighty percent. Turn two right? is an eighty percent chance for rest. Oh wow, that did like okay, that did nothing. Well, oh, the strat right. you already know, like just. Chip it with whatever and let it use rest and yeah. free Swords Dance set up. I should have done that. I got paralyzed by the Lapras, but still made it. Yeah, it's not as threatening when it's all uh, neutral damage. Yeah. Deep voice, Scott. Yeah, this is this is deep voice, Scott. I'm uh, <laughs> forgetting my allergy meds. Uh, we are level 42. You know, I predict no more problems. We'll make it straight through and we'll barely be behind Scott. Yeah, you're gonna... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna get stuck on the champion. That's what always happens in my videos anyways. After seal. Back to back sand attack. You know, three sand attacks in a row, you win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It feels so bad when that happens. Well, my accuracy telling me it's... Oh god, turn one slash... I got slashed twice, but I was able to fully set up, and I think if I can one-shot that, I could probably one-shot everything except for that. Beedrill is more uh, of a threat to itself than the other Pokemon. Like, if it gets it really confused is. and hits itself after Sword Stance, <laughs> so much damage. I can't believe I won that Agatha fight. It's ridiculous. I imagine it's pretty volatile, but if you can get probably just one set up, probably okay. Okay, we don't need that. Jesse and James. And then we're flowing. I think. Uh, now, I didn't pick up Swift, so I think I'm going to have a volatile Sabrina. But I can always just go pick it up, I guess. Won't be that big of a deal. Be a very free battle with Swift. Are badge boosts not showing properly for other stats? I don't know. Are they not? Uh... My software, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, is uh, there were a lot of problems earlier today. So I'll, I'll check right now when I do sword stances if the badge boosts. Yeah, the badge boosts are calculating. You see them? They they happen there when I sword stance. Oh, uh, Lance is awful. Oh, yeah. Well, at least on red version, it would be a free file. Yeah, it'll be free in red. For that reason alone, red is going to be a lot easier. Yeah, depending on how Ooh. that hierarchy goes, what happened? I one hit the Aerodactyl with Twin Needle. I did not think I was going to. Mm. Okay, and then I crit the Dragonite. Wonderful. Okay, we got Mimic. Chat is pretty lit. And I'm sorry I can't talk to you guys like all day, sit around. No, no, I have Mimic. I just, I'm not using it. Beedrill, I think, is going to do less damage with Ice Beam. After, because like Sword Stance is so strong. Yeah, I think we got like a um, Kangaskhan top situation. Yeah, where like even when you do set it up, it's not that good. Oh my god, Alakazam's about to eat my lunch. What X defend? Okay, there we go. We can try mimic. Sure, let's try mimic. Uh, is this for Lance? For Lance, yeah. Yeah, we interact. We still got you. I appreciate all you guys showing up. But Yeah, thought about Hyperbeam. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
with Mimic. You can Mimic Hyperbeam from the Gyarados. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I do it as many times as I can. <laughs> I'm just now getting the yeah. teeth. Ah, oh, I miss. Ah. Oh. Oh. Good. It only... It didn't do anything Did to I just, me. I'm stupid. I grabbed strength, taught it, stood right in front of the boulder, and then just walked out. Uh, yeah, okay. Didn't even, didn't even use it. Okay, level four. I hate when I go there. I hate when I go there uh, before Erica. That I try to push the boulder. It's like no. Badge is required <laughs> for that. You yeah. <laughs> like, I always, uh... I always feel so silly. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even backtrack to get the candy. I'm just like, all right. Yeah, there's been times, though, when I it's been part of my route, and then I like don't backtrack to get it, and then I'm one candy short in the league. It's like one of the worst yeah. feelings. Well, I have a bad habit of just like doing stuff randomly during the run. Like I have this like whole run planned out down to like hitting a certain level at a perfect time. Yeah. And uh, I just in the middle of the run, I'll just be like, you know, what if I did this, though? Oh, I'm going to lose my badge boost here. Well, that's annoying. At least I'm faster than the other I'm looking design. up at my um, game hook. And I don't think it matters. I don't know if it actually matters at all. But, like, my DVs are once again saying 255 for the FF value instead of 15. Oh. But my stats aren't crazy. Yeah, thanks for I think pointing that out. I, it was uh, fixed earlier. Yeah, I'll look into that. It might be a bug. I think it just says the number, but it's actually just max value, and it's just what 15 would be. Because yeah. my stats aren't anything out of the normal, because I did check double-check that this morning. Huh. Yeah, I don't have anything, like, unreasonable. I might have, I should have just fought all the other I gotta think about how to do too. this. I am I used all my rare candies for Lance, and then now I level up and I'm uh, not faster than the champion's Jolteon. Ah. <laughs> like, uh, uh -huh, champion's Jolteon. Uh, that's annoying. Um please don't hypnosis thing. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it, but it was not worth it or not uh not earned. He really dropped the ball there. Okay, so I beat the game, and my clock kept running, so that's not working. But around one hour and seventeen minutes, that with could fifteen be a, resets. Um, that could be a game name, meta game name thing. Yeah, it could be. I had to change mine. Uh, am I still watching? Yes, I am. Okay, I got four hour and thirty six minute game time. Oh, I, I do like Scolipede. What time is it? Four I got hour four what? hour thirty six minute game time. I think with my blackouts and I was just wasting so much time earlier. I'm pretty sure my game time is going to be slower than that. Yeah, it might I did be. not have a very efficient route. And I'm trying to just pick up a couple Thanks, extra trainers tonic. here and there. Uh, I'll probably pick up the scientist. Yellow B. Can I see Scott stream? Uh, I don't have Scott stream pulled up, but in between or whatever, I will. I was going to do like we did last time and put it on the screen. Yeah. But I was like, there's no way I have time to. Set it up. I think, like, Beedrill, the late game for Beedrill is honestly not that bad. Yeah, if you can just get past Blaine, I Blaine. guess. Blaine, yeah, Blaine is, Blaine is by far the most challenging trainer in the mid game. I think once Blaine is defeated, there aren't a lot of problems beyond that. It's actually pretty fast, too. Yeah. Uh, like, fast enough. I'm at 123 speed, and uh, I haven't used any candies, and I got a lot of room to go. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure you outspeed everything but maybe Aerodactyl. Wait 
49. I don't think I'll do any training in Blaine's gym. I might candy up a little bit higher. Yeah, Blaine's gym's training is not very good, like in terms of efficiency. I, yeah, I used I like, to always try and do it with like uh, Pokemon that have Earthquake or Surf, but then yeah. it's just not that efficient. I like um, I like the Scientist class a lot in general. They're pretty good, especially you can find like the old Electrode Weezing ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can find those in the mansion. Yeah, they are pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up my tier list for a second and just talk about that placement. Right now, one hour and 17 minutes is E tier. <laughs> Alongside Pokemon <laughs> like Tentacool and Kabuto and Aerodactyl. Um, yeah, this has the potential to be one of the worst fully evolved Pokemon. Alongside Golbat and Pidgeot and no. Raichu. Uh, it'll pick up. I think it'll pick up significant time in the second run. Just because Brock, like I wasted tons of time at Brock uh, trying to fight him at earlier levels. And there might be a risky Brock strategy. Let's look at... So we're going to jump over to the Rooter while um, Matt fights <laughs> fights Blaine. I'm sorry. We're, this is the run. Yeah. I'm going to look at Brock's damage ranges so that I can get a sense for like when we start doing more damage to the Geodude. I killed myself with... <laughs> with a plus six attack. I, I really did a number on myself. Okay, so Fury Attack at level 18 starts doing 2 damage to Brock's Geodude. So it's, every time it gets a 2 hit, it does between 4 and 6 damage at level 18. But at level 17, it only does 2 to 4 damage to the Geodude. This is a big difference. What is that? 18 to 20? Yeah, 17 to 18. 17 to 18, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a really big difference. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not going to do any more training. Sub hour should be possible. That's always what happens with these runs. You see them and then it's like sub hour should be possible and then you like try and you're like it, you get like one hour and 30 seconds over and over and over again it's like the worst feeling ever it is a pretty bad feeling <laughs> and it's always like blaine just like one shots you three times with flamethrower like no that just needs to stop happening <laughs> like it's literally like the one thing that you need to make the run go good yeah it just never happened yeah or you get to like lorelei you like gen one miss she uses blizzard and freezes you like, ah, okay, fine, I'll do this again. Every split was, like, ahead by, like, three minutes to that point. Yeah. Yeah, you the Weezing Bikers are way better than the Erica Gym Trainers. I love the Cyclone Road Bikers. Yep. Yeah, the... balls, not so much. Yeah, the There's cool... a couple of good ones. Yeah, we, we added this to the Rooter a while ago. I'll show everyone here. Um, So, like... There's this column right here. It says EXP per second. It's just an estimate. It is not a really accurate value, but it allows you to compare trainers to see like what the relative experience yield is per unit of time spent in the battle. And the assumption that is being made to calculate this metric is uh, that you're one-shotting all the Pokemon on their team. So it's used for like training in the mid game, that sort of thing. So there are three different trainers and you one-shot all their Pokemon, which one should you fight? Uh, so this metric can give you a sense for which one's better. Um, I'll go through some of the really good trainers. So like the rocket with just one Machoke in, in Sylph, it's like 134. But if we <laughs> go back to the the Tamer, the first Tamer in Koga's gym, 250. He's so good. He's actually better than Koga himself. Koga is like 236 or something like that. Where's Koga? What is that Seeking Fisherman? Ah, uh, he's so good. Uh, 340 something? Uh, 240, 240. 240. He's a little bit better than Koga. He's so good. And he's right along the path. You don't even have to take a single step off the path from the, like, you just go straight down, fight him. He's great. Like, they're pretty good. Yeah, if you find any trainers in that 200 range, they're worth looking at. And that's just, like, optimal turns, like... But if you think yeah. about it, like, unless you have a certain move like Earthquake, Dig, whatever, like, 
it's going to be about the same because most stuff just weak to ground that's good to fight in the game, you know? Yep. Pretty impressed with Twin Noodle, not gonna lie. Yeah, y'all like that Giovanni fight? Twin Noodle is a great move. It's great. It really is. Yeah. I didn't end up using Double Edge. I think that's a mistake for my run. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm that was sure so close on the Flareon. Yeah, it lived on like 10 HP. Uh, I guess we'll just set up Agility. I don't have Mimic or anything. Now you're gonna use Slash. I'll use one agility. I don't even know if I level up here. It's going to be close. I'm too scared to use agility. You know what? This probably won't use a move. Agility is terrifying. Whoa, your cluster is pink or purple. Yeah, I made a palette swaps on a few things. Okay, I was like, whoa, I haven't seen that in a while, like ever. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's normally like gray, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, I think... Darmy, Tauros, Eevee. I don't have a full like change log for it, but like yeah. there's a lot of Pokemon that are just not brown, not the right color. Porygon, change it to pink. Yeah. There's a few good looking ones that you can do. I'll just set up here. That's what we need. I think I created on the um, double edge flame. Well, it depends on how much HP I got. You're probably right, but I love, I love Twin Needle. The Twin Needle is great. This is a, it's an excellent move. Uh, I wish more Pokemon had it in Gen 1. But it makes Beedrill feel special, at least in this case. It really does. Okay. Um, Giovanni, what are the damage ranges here? I uh, you the final gym fight? Yeah. I'm trying to, I want to see, like, do I have one hits with Mega Drain? No. That's awful. I one hit everything else, but then the the ride on. Okay, it doesn't have a one hit. I got lucky with a guard spec. Yeah. Probably never gonna survive that guard spec. You might have to double team mimic. It might be one of those runs. Yeah. Just to make it safe. I think. Yeah. I think it is possible to just two hit with Mega Drain and survive the rock slide. I think that's probably faster. Because everything else is basically a one hit except the Persian, but this is at level fifty six. I might. How much damage is it? Like guaranteed one shot if it hits you with a rock slide? No, no, sixty five to seventy seven percent. That's it, doable. You yeah. can play the odds. Because its crit rate is pretty low, so I think. And it's... if you look back at it, like you might decide that, like, hey, the late game was kind of easy. I could use more candies on Blaine. I'll be a higher level for Giovanni, and all of a sudden yeah. that percent's now like a fifty fifty. Yep. Okay, you only need one Swords Dance on Sabrina, so I it set up way too time. long there. Uh, Sabrina? Yeah, you know, one Swords Dance is all you need <laughs> for one hits. Probably half a sword. Now, also, only one Swords Dance on Koga, so again, I set up too long. That's the problem. That's where a lot of people bleed time on, like, yeah. like if you're just doing a blind run. That's where you lose most of the time. Yeah, I just have, like, no idea how many turns you need to set up for. Overdoing it. Especially when you got like uh, so many moves to set up with. Do I have agility? Do I do that? The uh, the Beedrill has problems where its crit rate is holding its damage ranges back because it can set up so much with Swords Dance, and then the crit rate lowers the total possible chance to You're KO. Right. That's why we need to keep focus energy. Oh, that's right. That's the strat. Yes. I tried it on Scyther one time. I did. Tr I tried like, it on okay. Scyther too, and it did not work well. <laughs> no. Uh, there was actually a moment when I was uh, playing this first Scyther playthrough, and I was sitting there, and I had just used Focus Energy, and, and I, my brain was just like, "What if you just didn't put this this uh, this run in the video? <laughs> like, it looks <laughs> so bad. Like, so like take this one out. We'll just do another first attempt, but it made it into the video." And you just know people are going to be like, ah, yeah, like, say something that you literally going to do later in the video anyway. Yes. Oh, there's a lot of trash TMs. It'd be very cool if Twin Needle was a TM for sure. Okay. Uh, we're in yellow version, so let me just do this. Let's see how this league goes. 
Oh, it already over. They bubble beamed you already. Yuck. This is the thing about Beedroll. Like, once it gets set up, it's really good. Yeah, and, like, it's it's core stats, attack and speed are, like, good enough. Yeah. Oh, you're weak to Twin Needle. I'm going to keep uh -oh. chatting and talking here, everyone. I'm just going to change the screen to the intro scene uh, so we have a, some nice motion on the screen while I watch the end of Matt's run. And then we are going to play Pokemon Red with Beedrill. <laughs> And uh, this Brock split. <laughs> the Brock split is going to be much worse. Uh, but I actually My think time. I think the overall time, though, on the run is going to be lower. I think that it's going to lose time at Brock, but then gain back time later in the game. Because the experience with... Be... Go ahead. Uh, like, the experience with Yellow taught me, like, I don't really need to overlevel for the late game. And Giovanni's Rhydon doesn't have Rock Slide. So there's just... Like, there's so much time that can be saved later on in the run. Number one, because of experience, and then number two, because of how the games are programmed. Like, and you can just straight up set up. Uh, Blaine has good AI on red, but uh, Growlithe also has agility, so it's not even guaranteed he'll even use Ember. <laughs> oh. So you can get oh, a free that's setup. hilarious. You probably could go no candy and just ca candy up all the way at Ravel 6 or something like yeah. that. If you want to. Yeah. Uh, I think right now I would probably use... At least one candy here. I'll save a candy if I can. I used all my candies before Lance, which was a mistake. Because, like, set, setting up on uh, the champion would have been good. How will it fare against the lead Pidgeot? Is this just Matt, one shot? Matt, what are the Pidgeot's, um, Pidgeot's moves? They're really bad, uh, right? Sky attack, wing attack, mirror Aww. move. So it actually does have damage dealing moves. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, like, no, it always has whirlwind. Just like uses if, it you a, if it hits you with a sky attack, you're probably done for. Yeah. And, or if it like you, let's say you swords dance, it mirror moves swords dance, and maybe you miss on something or don't knock it out, and it hits you with a sky attack after. Yeah. Uh, this is probably a mimic situation. I don't think you need agility anymore. I probably don't. I could probably teach mimic right now. Yeah. Because I, I think seeing. you can, like, your speed when you badge boost, it's higher than Aerodactyls. Oh, I'll probably never use Agility again for the rest of the run. Oh, that's sure. another Pokemon that's going to be way easier, the Aerodactyl in, in red. Yes. It's going to be so much easier. It can still crit, but it won't have super effective damage, at least. Yeah. And the Dragonite is free. Yes. And, well, the, the whole fight is pretty much free outside of... Gyarados, Gyarados, I guess, is the most terrifying Pokemon. Uh, I don't even know. I guess we'll just teach Mimic. Just to yeah. have it, but... I don't really know what we'd need it for. A, twin, a Gen 1 Scyther run with Twin Needle and Wing Attack. It already gets Wing Attack in Yellow. Uh, the reason why I went Yellow... No, he said Scyther. Somebody said oh, Scyther. Scyther, yeah. It gets Wing Attack. It's late, but it really does help for Agatha a lot. Level 50. <laughs> why?! <laughs> Why level 50, Game Freak? It's so late. And like, even Zubat gets it in its 20s. Okay, this we're, we're going to have to retool here. Might be a rester. You could probably get through this fight early. With rest, yeah. One setup, double, double edge, then rest after. Yeah, I can uh, see that. See. I'm worried. This yeah, track this is one. so good. I thought you were talking to me. I play in the uh, Castlevania Sympathy. Oh, Night. yeah. I'm uh, listening to the gym leader battle again. The part where it's like really fast 16th notes it just gets me so hyped up every time I hear it. It is. It's a pretty good track. I like all the... Well, there's only three battle tracks in Gen 1, right? Yeah. Uh, um, Wild Trainer and Gym. Oh, uh, and Champion 4. And Champion, yeah. Yeah. But, like, you really, really heard that one. Oh. Uh, I knew it. Oh, I don't outspeed. So maybe I do need to take agility. Okay, we're filling out the fire. We're at the end here. Again, if anyone's waiting and you're like, what's going on? We're waiting. When Jin, yeah, we when Jin could. I mean, you could modify Scyther to have different moves at the start. But I'm not a overly huge fan of that. Because I feel like, what's the point? You know, like, yeah. giving stuff moves that it doesn't even normally get anyway. 
I don't like this. I don't like I don't like the position I'm in. And I'm paralyzed. No. The worst status condition. Paralysis is so bad in a solo run. Yeah. When you have agility, it's okay, but Oh, that's true. Agility's yeah. the worst badge boosting move in my opinion, I think. I'm just gonna go all the way. I think agil agility is okay as long as you have something else. Oh, it's good. But... Yeah, it's not bad. It's like, you know, like I always say, like, like Bubble Sword's my least favorite starter, but okay, so I love the starters. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> you know, like I, I like I like all starters, but it's like saying like vanilla ice cream is my least favorite ice cream. Yeah. Like it's still ice cream, you know? I'm just going to unalive myself. Okay, this fight is giving me a little bit more trouble than I would like. Did you have Swift here, or did you, uh... Uh, which fight? For Lance. Uh, no, I got Mimic and then stole Hyper Beam. Because I, I... Actually, brilliant. I kept getting completely wrecked by the Aerodactyl. Uh, came in, Kami Kiku, $25. Fun to see a collab. Uh, oh, I appreciate nice. that a lot. Yeah, I'm waiting for Matt to finish, order. and then... Uh, I'm almost done. Yeah, if you want to see what's happening, go and check out Matt's stream. The link is in if, the description. If that one guy is here. Okay, so it just don't go don't go for three straight hyper beams when we got this. Pinsir still doesn't learn Megahorn? I don't believe that. To this day? <laughs> no, really? I've been looking that up. I'm looking that up. I don't believe that. Pinsir. It literally has horns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. Can twin needle? Yeah. Not even as a bug move, or as a as an egg move. Uh. I'm so. No nervous. mega horn. Okay, we got it. What the cre? Okay. Oh. What a series of events. Yeah, that's so sad. It barely, I crit, so it survived, and then it full restored, then I had to recharge, <laughs> and it hit me with a fire blast. Uh, wait, sorry, I gotta be that guy in the comments. Actually, it was a hyper potion. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna look back what that guy said, but, uh, what is it? I, I ruined Scott. <laughs> I unsubscribed. I, I, and, like, the thing is, is, like, uh, I there was a, a couple comments that I got sometime, which was like, you really need to like proofread your stuff better and like make sure that it's more accurate. And it's like, I don't know if you like understand. Like, I watch every video three times. Like, yeah, I, I, like, I literally tried to watch it through, and sometimes mistakes get through. <laughs> I find it more refreshing when I see mistakes sometimes because I'm like, you know what, that person's a human. Yeah. It's like I watch it three times and like I go back and do multiple retakes on lines that sound bad, on lines that aren't inaccurate, on lines that the, the video editor uh, highlights for me that are like there's like squeaks in them or whatever, whatever's wrong with them. Or but if still, like, I didn't I didn't pronounce the end of this word good enough. Like yeah. my southern draw was too strong in this one part. I need to enunciate this T on this word like just so somebody doesn't say anything, but you can never. There's always that guy, whoever that guy is. Uh, we probably mimic earthquake. I don't like. I yeah, I think mimic. Like. I think I think mimic earthquake. Yeah, that's always. That's like ninety percent of the answer. Yeah, mimicking earthquake is so good. God, is it? I, okay, I can only assume that poison is higher up on that little hierarchy of moves. Well, I'll look. I'll look it up. And it's saying that no poison sting today. Actually. It's like speed running AI red. If you search that in Google, you can usually find it. It's like, yeah, Pokemon Splash red. Flash just hits so hard. I hate it. It's yellow. so good. Oh, one the, one health. The yellow problem is yeah. The sand slash is this so sand good. slash is so good. It's yeah. so good. It's so tanky. I should use a candy. Do I even have candies left? I think I use them for Lance. Not the same situation that I got into. Well, I was having a hard time. Okay, Fury, that's that's what we needed. Apparently this site is down. I cannot see the list right now. Okay, I'll just pull it up in the disassembly. I'll show everyone. It's plus four. Earthquake, a neutral earthquake is still stronger. 
<laughs> cool. Yeah, probably a couple of proteins would help with the ranges here. I didn't buy any. Oh, no. You like the Southern Draw? I appreciate it. Well, I'm just saying, you like, you know, you're making a video for people to watch. You want it to be good. I mean, you don't want to sit there with, you know, you don't want people to think that this guy didn't care. He just put out something, you know, without thinking. So you want it to be decent quality. Stop using Slash, for the love of God. It's using it a lot. I think you're getting really unlucky. Yeah, it's really bulky, and there's also Cloyster later, too, which is probably equal bulk. Just use Fury Attack. So what interaction are we looking for? We're looking for Poison and Bug? Uh, yes. I don't know if it matters what order it is, but I think, it, I think it's looking for... It does matter. I think it's looking for Poison in this case. No, because if it was looking at poison, it would be using earthquake. So it might be looking at bug. No, it checks poison against poison first, finds that it's not very effective. Okay, that makes then sense. Then I think it sees. I don't think it. I think it checks earthquake. Because is it using poison sting? It's not. It's using fury swipes and slash. So it checks. It's... It checks the ground type. Uh, let's find where. It will prove this one as well so ground it checks ground against poison uh austin says he it might i think he, he thinks it checks each move separately it does check each move separately so that makes sense it's only using its normal neutral moves yeah we got this we're just I, I find it better just to be a little bit slow and just figure stuff out because what if I just got lucky first turn on the sand slash? I would never learn any of this stuff. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I think it's it's downvoting both earthquake and uh, poison sting and then using its normal moves. Round oh my bug. god! It should be checking. Oh no, that's poison against ground. Yeah, it checks never ground. Mind. Yeah. It checks, okay, so it checks uh, both the poison move and the ground move, finds that both of them are not very effective. Because essentially what it's doing, I have the list up on screen now so people can see it. It goes through this list and it finds the first relevant pair. So it, it goes like, my move is a ground type move uh. and the opponent is a poison and a bug type. So then it goes down and it looks for the first pairing, which is ground and bug. It finds not very effective and then it moves on to the next move. Instead of checking that, then checking the uh, ground poison interaction, checking both of them, and then putting it together and going, oh, it's neutrally effective. Um, so yeah, they fixed this in Gen 2 by the AI just rolls the damage ranges and figures out which move does more damage oh. and then chooses that move. Oh, you got the magneton. That's good. I used, I used the wrong move. Aww. Okay, I got a new, there's a new strat in town. Never mind, there's not. I sold it. Okay, I'm going to game hook something in. I need, <laughs> I need, I need to test this out. I want to see if having Mega Drain could heal you just enough on the um, what you call it on the Sand Slash. Uh, have we done Sand Slash? I don't think either of us have, but I do think Wait, it's going to be you... a very good run. Go ahead. Did you skip rest? I do have rest. Do you think it'd be better than I Mega Drain? Rest. You think our special so bad that uh, that matter? I would give up. Double edge. Yes, double edge is yeah, no use. For right rest. Now. And I would just rest on the executor because first turn it's gonna go for hypnosis, which uh, is gonna waste time. So it'll waste I need attack. Something, I need something to get yeah. help. And like Earthquake and Twin Needle is gonna be more than enough to, to get through the rest Red of the Red Eye Solaris, you're right, yeah. They're both on the same page. I find it I got like superstition because I got started using mimicking first. I think yeah. It's hard. It it's hard because it moves. uses slash. Like the fact that this thing is slashing is the big problem. How did I get I'm by it? Gonna... Did I? I think I got just got lucky. <laughs> so silly. You know what the worst is when it goes for fury swipes and you're like, oh, it's good, and then it crits and gets five hit. <laughs> yeah. Like ah. Uh... I mean, I'm just in the worst position that I was in. Yeah. I think swords dance first before mimicking is better. 
because then you uh, take less defense. damage from Fury Swipes. It doesn't help against Slash, but it helps. Uh, I think you can Twin Needle it. Oh, no, Earthquake is better. You're right. That's what's sad about it. We've been talking up uh, Twin Needle, and you look at it, and it's like, oh, this is actually like... Until it's against whatever, Executor. 20, 20 so oh, yeah, this is the strongest you'll ever see this move. Yeah. <laughs> really good against Executor. I mean, sometimes rest is just the answer, you know? Sometimes rest is just... It is. Yep. The right choice. Look at that. There's a spot that you can get to, and now, like, this is a range, I'm pretty sure. Pretty high range, if I had to bet, but I did miss it twice already. And I know this is a you guarantee. Got it. So about 4.30. Nice. 30 resets. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if this one could be cut under to like a two. Good. Piece. Well, I'm. I'm thinking red. I'm thinking red version. I don't yeah. know about this, but that's yeah. Maybe with the right. Maybe an A tier run if it's like optimized right. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's like mid B or something. Yeah. So yeah, your game time was a little bit lower than mine. Is lower? I thought yeah. you had four ten. No, I, I had uh four thirty six. Oh okay. Makes sense. But like we were expecting that because I'm on God, we speed. bled the time on the. We were like, hey, it'd be a good idea to black out on the Geo dude, and it was so slow. Yeah. It took so long to get by. So uh, now, let me red version. <laughs> yeah, let me set it up, and then I'm going to go sure. and come up off hey, and then why can I not skip? Also, everyone, just before we start in red version, there are going to be some overlay errors on my side of things because uh, for whatever reason, something happened with my software after an update to Gamehook last night and things are just not working kind of properly. So um, uh, I tried to solve it for like three hours this morning, but I, I could not solve it. So occasionally it's going to show the wrong Pokemon and the wrong moves and stuff on the right hand side of the screen for the enemies, but... It's at least a little bit more consistent than it was this morning. Like, when I first sat down, it was just like, I'd go into the Brock fight and it would just show me a bug catcher's team for the whole fight. What? <laughs> so weird. I had some weird stuff too. I got a feeling like I woke up early this morning and I got the feeling like I seen the thing where it's like, hey, you have to update now. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I better look at that then. And then like I started getting some weird stuff and I was like, uh, -uh. like it would be like that. Uh, let me load... Red mapper. I'll get everything set up for a go. Yeah, see, it's telling me my um, attacks 255, my values 255, but I think that's just, you know, the FF value. Like, it's just another yeah. way of saying it. I don't think it... And it we would know if we I would had, know. Yeah. If it was, like, 15 times higher than the uh, intended. It, I think it's impossible because the game is reading it as a... The game's always going to read it as a, a nibble which is half of a byte. So yeah. even if the byte is set to the maximum value, which is 255, the game is always going to read the DV as 15. It makes sense. Because in the code, it said as... I don't know. I think I got it pulled up. I don't even know if it matters. You already know. Because uh, I think you started this code around the ghastly run we did on stream last year. Is that the base you're using? No, no, no. Okay. Uh... I just remembered, like, because uh, remember, like, Porygon race and stuff like that? It was just like, well, it's imperfect stats until you level up. Yeah, yeah. That and you had, is like, not the case code. anymore. Yeah. No. You have the formula, like... Uh, yeah, it, like, it like reads, like, as soon as I get a Pokemon, it basically just overwrites the stats with the perfect stat values. I got it from the... Um, God, what is it from? Uh, you let me look at the Gen 2 overlay, and I adapted it over. Oh, okay. Uh, to where it sets the stuff up. Yeah. So the Gen 2 one's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just zero XFF just set up, so it should be fine. I think it's fine. I didn't notice any. Like, I wasn't like, man, this resisted twin needles one shot and there was uh, Van Man at level forty. Yeah, Van Man and I did a stream once, and it was not setting these stats correctly. So occasionally throughout the run, it would just set your Pokemon stats to what they should be at level five. <laughs> And like he oh, just got like yeah. one hit by a Growlithe or something. He's like, "Whoa, that Growlithe is really strong." <laughs> uh, so silly. Okay, I think we're good on red version. Uh, let okay. me refresh the overlay. 
Oh, do you not have the thing that sets your options automatically? I should send that to you. I do. Okay. Uh, okay. I was just, I don't know what I was doing. I was just in there. <laughs> I was just hanging out in the options. Okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I got no set. Okay, we're overlays are fresh. Red version's pulled up. Uh, everything's normal today, guys, except for yellow color palette. So ah, uh, yes. Don't wear everything. I have actually made a custom color palette for my Beedrill I've run. I've seen that. Yeah. And I, uh. was, and I was thinking, <laughs> do you have trouble figuring out how to get a certain color into the 0 to 31 RGB? Um, No, I just use the, like, a... Uh picker tool thing from photoshop and put them in here and then it just worked uh this is because oh, i really? messed up yesterday i did not send snowy the correct information <laughs> so they spent the whole day working on adding a feature to the emulator which wasn't actually the yeah. feature that i had requested so uh i i figured uh because i made this mistake and made someone do a lot of work i should probably just utilize it for one run so i made a beedrill custom color palette oh. it is using the blues from the little like arms on beedrill's sugamori art and then it is yeah. using the yellow and the red from beedrill's like body and eyes well if you're ever making a custom palette and you're going through and you're, you're struggling to see like what is zero out of 31 sgb palette because nobody yeah. uses that stuff like photoshop you know what is it one through 255 or whatever yeah yeah uh you the would just is it 255 I th or am i just thinking i in think coding? so uh anyway you would take it and uh i'm already gonna butcher the math i've already forgot you would take that number multiply it times 31 and then divide it by 255 i'm pretty sure and it'll mm. give you the number that it was supposed to be on a 0 to 31 scale right okay because i have custom yeah you have custom i think i have custom grays in this one. Oh, nice there is some custom stuff it's not just straight yellow but whatever but uh give me a second i'll be right back give me like a few minutes and i'll be right back sure and we'll start that we'll start this hail oh i uh, appreciate you guys in the chat i'll be back in a minute it's gonna be just me here for a moment uh this is how it normally is also this music's really good the rocket hideout music um also i changed all the pokemon that you're seeing here in the title screen they are not their custom pokemon there's like a list and it randomizes between pokemon from the list so i decided to put some custom pokemon here uh, I have I have had some questions uh, if this is going to make it into a fully produced video, and I'm just going to decline to comment on that. I did do Beedrill, though, as a stream, or sorry, Butterfree as a stream uh, on New Year's Eve. So. Also, the, these two are not currently ranked in my tier list. That's... That's the information we have currently. Yeah, let's look at the tier list for a second. Here's the tier list as it stands. The reason Beedrill and Butterfree are not currently ranked in my tier list is that... Uh, the Beedrill vs. Butterfree video and then the follow-up video that I did to that one I did so long ago. With Beedrill, I used Hyperbeam, and with Butterfree, I used Substitute. Uh, obviously, those are not the correct strategies for the lowest possible time, so uh, it is it is important to come back and revisit these to try and get a little bit more uh, objective results. I realized after talking with Matt on this stream that I kind of set myself up the most hardcore format because it's like, if I mess up a strategy or something, I'm not tracking with game time, then I just have to, like, go back and do all the runs again. But I'm I'm kind of glad that I have uh, got myself into this situation, because it's really fun going back and revisiting a bunch of this stuff. It's just more reasons to play more Gen 1, and I love these games. Scott, do more collab lives? Yeah, I'm hoping to do a bunch of different uh, live streams with people in the community over this month again i'm just doing this for fun i think it's fun to just like sit down hang out with people and play pokemon like share some ideas and get someone else's perspective on the game see how they play the game it's it's really fun there will still be a lot of the regular content though starting in february <clears throat> yeah butterfree had a really good result in the stream it was like 56 minutes or 54 minutes or something like that way better than beedrill all right i'm back who's better butterfree yeah butterfree i just did a butterfree stream like on new year's eve and it had a really good result it's like 54 minutes or something 55 minutes it's hard. i didn't have a good time with butterfree but i haven't done it in a while yeah I'm, I'm gonna do i'm gonna do a butterfree versus sometime in the year nice to where i'm gonna do butterfree itself 
versus starting as a Caterpie so that you can get Harden. Yes, yes, and yes. see how Harden affects... Oh, that uh, is an amazing point. We did not talk about that. Uh, if you yellow. start if you start as a Weedle and evolve to Beedrill, it does not learn Harden. Kaku no, only <laughs> Kakuna does not yellow, learn Harden. Does, right? No, they didn't change it because Kakuna oh. isn't in yellow as a Pokemon that you can catch in the wild. You're so they right. they updated Metapod, but they did not update Kakuna, which I is would hilarious. Be fine. Well, luckily it gets Swords Dance, at least. Butterfree mm -hmm. just feels like it's lacking. Like it does get Sleep Powder, and it's yeah. not awful, but yeah, I don't know. I'd the... have to take a look at it again. Butterfree, but... like. Butterfree really worked for me just thinking I don't need to level. I don't really need to train that much. Like all that's important is hitting the sleep powders when you need to like speed ranges, sleep. Powder. Yeah. Yep. All right. Are okay. Yeah. I am. I'm ready to go. All right. I'm going to hit start in three, two, one. All right, everyone, here we go. This is the first red run that I have done on the channel in a long time, maybe a year now. No, maybe eight months. I think the last one I did was Kangaskhan. Okay, my Butterfree time was 54.39. Now, I replaced Bulbasaur. Me too. <laughs> it makes sense. You gotta make this as difficult as possible. <laughs> also, uh, I did uh, play the beginning of this uh, this run to try and see how it would go, and I lost the ri uh, rival in the lab. I would straight up, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm blind. I probably time. wouldn't restart. Um, another thing interesting about this is that uh, the rival in the lab gives less experience than he does in yellow version. You don't hit level six. You don't hit level six. Yeah. On a medium fast Pokemon, yeah, it's pretty noticeable. Medium slow goes to level six though, and I think fast does too. Oops, I get confused sometimes. I try to talk to the old drunk man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once I did that, I uh, I accidentally went into the Professor Oak's uh, lab instead of going to the grass. Yeah. And then I didn't catch the footage when I was doing video review because my editor just left it in. <laughs> and then like a bunch of people commented like, why is Scott going into like <laughs> Professor Oak's lab? Like, yeah. You know okay. that uh, the, the John Travolta meme and like Pulp Fiction where he's looking around? Yeah. You're just in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, what am I doing? Uh... Where's Oak? <laughs> Uh, oh, this guy has gonna... Weedle. The first yes. bug catcher has Weedle. I'm going to save it. Learn from my mistakes last time. Uh, the forest is significantly... When you have to grind in red, yeah. the encounter rate's so low and it feels so bad. No, I lost to the first bug catcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is the kind of run that it is. All right, apparently... I can't buy potions in Viridian City Mart. Nope. But you can pick up about five. <sighs> I did win. Wow. I don't, I don't think I'm going to battle anymore. I'm going to try my luck at the Light Years Trainer again. Yeah. I'm trying to get there at level eight. That is probably the smartest thing to do. Like, get Just to through. try to eke out. Yeah. A little more experience. Optional rival. The optional rival, I've broke it down into experience. He only gives like roughly about the same experience as one the Diglett itself would give you. <laughs> and it's kind of out of the way. Unless you're kind of desperate or it's that kind of run, you know, this might be that run. You might be right. But there's Sand Attack. It may not be worth the risk. No one wants to hit a Sand Attack this early. Uh, I need to grind, I think, to eight. 86 experience off. Wow, this is kind of rough. Uh, I thought this run was going to be... It might end up being good. But... Yeah, I, I, I didn't expect uh, an hour and like 17 minute first playthrough time. I thought it was going to be like an hour and three or four minutes. Like Where I thought, it, like, yeah, like, oh, wow, I might be able to get this down in the 40s. Yeah, but... Which you still might, but... I don't think so. Was, shaving like 30 minutes off the time or 20 minutes off the time i don't think i could do it if you could blackout grind if you if you just learn like focus energy at like level nine or something yeah oh that's true so actually 
Yeah, I guess... This, to be fair, though, the sand shrew could just sand attack you, and then you can continuously fight the diglet. I the, hate the sand attack on this, this, on this yeah, version. Yeah, it doesn't it have uh, sand attack in yellow. That's no, the difference just, here in this lower fight. Than, it's just a little bit lower level, and it just feels so good in yellow. Like, it just works out exactly the way it should. And then, like, in red, it's just like, oh, sand attack four times in a row? Yep. This isn't a race speedrunner. It's just I'm playing on my rules. He's playing on his rules. Yeah, we're just hanging out playing Pokemon together. The real answer is everyone had fun. Except for that one guy that I remember <laughs> in Scott's At the channel. beginning, yeah. Uh, I'd lost that battle. I'll count the recent. Oh, no. So the Diglett being a higher level makes this a little harder. Can you just please scratch me and stop using sand attack? Thank you. What what level did you go there? Level uh, 8? I think it was 8 or 7. Oh my gosh. Can we use... It gen we one, did it Gen 1 miss on Scratch? It Gen 1 missed on Scratch. That must have been what it was. <laughs> Whoops, I guess you have to beat me. <laughs> uh, don't want to beat him. <laughs> I uh, think... No, you can't You can't throw balls to stall turns. That's yeah, no, that's... that's yeah, rules. really, yeah. Beedrill, that's uh, just a Pokemon, just a mutual Pokemon. We both have it done. That's pretty much it. Well, I did it a long time ago, but I haven't done it recently enough that uh, that it was relevant in any meaningful way. Well, I find that like every, well, there's going to be a time where it stops, but like every year yes, or so, yes. it, like it I'm... feels like you discover something Darn. that just changes the way you. Yep think about the runs and it's like oh i can make every run so much better yeah like this year ike the killer just came around and was like hey actually all of what you're doing in the mid game is awful i was like oh okay so i guess i gotta go back and do all the runs again <laughs> uh and like he didn't say it in those words but basically just seeing him play and like the trainers he's fighting and the rooting that he's taking was like it was very quickly evident that i was not doing the correct stuff yeah there's gonna be a time where it's like not going to be efficient to redo runs anymore. Yeah. Like, you're not going to be able to save more than a minute or two, but for the first few years, at least, it always feels like there's some new, like, massive... Like, I did Zapdos last year, and it had, like, a 2.20-something time, and it was, like, really good A-tier run. Yeah. And I went back last week, and I was able to push it to fourth place, like, 2.12, like... Wow. Like, just through stuff that I've learned over the past year, and it's just yeah. like, okay... And then it makes you wonder. It's like, well, how many of these runs are just obsolete now? And, like, I want to get to the point where I want to release a tier list video, like, talking about the first half of the Pokemon, but I always look at it, and I'm like, well, I think this run could be better now. Yeah. I got a few. A lot of them are from Austin, though. Like, Austin will just show me a time, and I'm just like... Austin is a fantastic player. I messed up somewhere on this run. <laughs> like, I, th whatever I did a year ago on this run, I, I missed something. Yeah, sometimes also, like, uh, I forget which one it was. It was, like, Venonat, and I was looking at my, like, God. Discord channel where everyone's doing the runs, and, and <laughs> Red Riosi got a time with Venonat, I just looked at it and I was like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> how? How is that possible? Uh, so then I put in a lot of work for that that video. Oh, there we go. What did wait. the final time end up being? Venonat? I was, like, an 117 or something. No, speedrunner, you have to know about light years blackout grinding. We're just blacking out, getting some easy experience. The idea would be you just fight Brock at the level. Like it's too slow to grind yeah. on the Geo dude. Oh no! But this is perfect. I think I'm gonna. This is this is as far as I can go with Come it. Come on! Wait. Oh, I'm at twenty eight percent accuracy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the forest is awful in red to grind down. And I get, I know you guys uh, banned Blackout, but I mean, Scott used to, you used to not Blackout too, right? Yeah, but that was just because I'm, uh, not, I don't know, unintelligent. Like, I was just like, when would it make sense to Blackout and take no, the experience? It, like, you lose the money and you I get um, the, have to I get, walk. I get, the, I get the mindset behind it because it's like, well, this does, this feels kind of like weird, like, doesn't really exactly feel like in the spirit of things, you know? Yeah. Like I get the I get the mindset behind it, but then like the more you play, you're just like speed, speed, speed. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
And like at the end of the day, like my goal is to like show up and try and get the best results that I can with every Pokemon. Like it, it's not really like and it doesn't really matter it, how I feel about helps. things. Like sometimes it helps so much. Yeah. Uh, the goal eighteen was yellow. I don't know about that for red. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh, like uh. Level. Yeah, yeah. For, I uh, Brock. Yeah, the Geodude is annoying with Defense Curl, but it doesn't damage you when it does it. And the Onyx doesn't have Bide. Bind is it has more It has more of a chance to use uh, Bide, so you can just waste bide, the yeah. turn oh, to bide, focus yeah. energy. It doesn't have Bind, that's right, so it can't It doesn't have you. Bind, so there's a additional chance to use Bide. Yeah. And we're going to outspeed it anyway. I'm pretty sure I get my speeds mixed up. Is it I, 27 speed in yellow? Uh, 23 speed on the Onyx. 23, 27. 27. Yeah. I'm like so 13. So we already outspeeded yeah. at 13, yeah. Um, 20 I, sounds probably, but I think 18 is possible. I also think it's better to train just south of Pewter City in red because the encounter rate in the forest is like 8%, whereas in yellow it's 25. So you're going to actually get more encounters just outside the forest faster and more attack stat experience. I got this little shifty move going, and I feel like it ups my chances. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, not, it's not true at all. It's like it's like when you're uh, a kid and you're trying to catch a legendary, and it's like, spam the B button as fast as possible. It will improve your when it, shake, when, it sh when, it, when it shakes once, hold down B button. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then, like, later we actually realize that, like, oh, this is actually how it works because there's, like, RNG manips that you can do. But I yeah. I don't know if humans are, like, if you can time things precisely enough to actually pull it off, but I know the computer can do stuff like that. What, the RNG manips? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. They do it in the speed run. Uh, I actually practiced it a lot over this past year. Uh, the God Nidoran manip, uh, manip with a yeah. yellow ball. Yeah. Uh, it's like right when the perfect cry comes out and you like buffer up the uh, items. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. It's just... It, it, does it have to be frame perfect? Yeah, but you have 22 frames or something like that to hit it. Oh, okay. So pretty generous. That is pretty it's generous, just, yeah. The Mount, the Mount Moon manips where it's crazy because there's so many <sighs> steps. It's like 80 steps. Yeah. And you have to do it perfect, and you'll hit a tile at the end, and you'll perfectly catch a Paris. What is a bonk? Notice. It's when you hit into the wall like that. <laughs> I put my bonk how counter you, up. How do you have your bonk counter up? I was going to do it because there's a certain sound file, but uh, the way sound files work in the game is uh, it goes from zero to that number, then back to zero. There is a speedrunning patch for Pokemon Crystal that counts a bunch of metrics. It like adds functions to the game that like go in and count all the stuff. Uh, I ported that from Gen 2 into Gen 1. So, like, I have a... Like, a, the game is actually counting the bonks for me. Hmm. Every time it loads that it. sound, it it uh, it increments the counter. And then I added a hotkey to my overlay. So, like, I have a uh, controller function that when I press it, it hides and shows the bonk counter. That's with the... What is it? Rewast? Or whatever it's called. Uh, what is it called. What is the program called? That is what it's called. Yeah, but no, this is with like my overlay. I programmed in a thing called Keyhook, which allows like my overlay to get keyboard access. Ah. Oh. So then I can set it to like an F key or something, and then when I press like a button on my controller with Rewast, it it sends the bonk, turns the bonk counter on. I was supposed to be able to switch the reset counter to blackout counter uh, while I was playing, but unfortunately that one isn't working today, so I was trying to do it for people earlier on. And they're like, why isn't it counting the resets? Uh, blackouts is resets. I'm like, I can switch it, but unfortunately I can't today. What do you think the one thing is that you've explained about 400 times but people still ask about? Is there anything like that on the channel where you think about it and you're just like... You think that maybe you could explain it a few times and then you just like save yourself some time later, but if you don't explain it once, everybody's like, what? Is there anything like that you can think of? Uh... <laughs> I It's a weird example, but the fact that Earthquake does not hit Pokemon that are underground in Generation 1. Oh, yeah. I, I feel every time I show that interaction on screen, I have to explain it. And the other one is also the uh, paralysis glitch where you get paralyzed and then the opponent buffs its own stats and your speed goes down. 
That one, I feel like I need to explain all the time because every time I don't explain it, someone comments on it like, hey, what was going on with your speed when it used like acid armor? Like, oh yeah, this is a glitch. The easiest way to show that off is the uh, wrapping junior trainer. The yes. gross. God. <laughs> like, what am I doing in my life? I'm at one speed. <laughs> oh, damage rounding thresholds also explaining that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one too. Yeah, a lot. People, there's generally decent awareness of the badge boost glitch now, so. I trust that people finding their way down to my video have heard about the some stuff enough to where I don't need to be the one to tell you. Like, I'm a, I assume that I'm not most people's first, like, nobody stumbled upon my video first and they're learning all this stuff for the first time, but. Yeah. Sometimes I do feel like I gotta explain stuff. It's a hard balance because, like, I want to, like, if someone's a new viewer and they're just checking out for the first time, they don't know a lot about Generation 1. Like, I want to explain stuff, but then I don't want to over explain stuff every video because then people just, like, he's explaining crit mechanics for the, like, eighth time in the last two months. Can you please yeah, stop? Yeah, you can turn off a potential long term viewer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. He's showing graphics on his screen talking about the formula for crit damage again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he did I it again. I do that. I'd do that in a video soon. Because I um I think you did this in the Smeargle video. Um you calculate the damage, the effective power of a high crit move into yes. the effective power. Yes. And I, I and I made a new formula for that. Hey, these masters, thanks for the 999. I appreciate that. Uh, I did that, and I had to make a spot in the video to explain why it was. I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's like a cross-gen versus video, and it's for Stone Edge uh, mm. that I didn't know was high crit until I started the run. Is it high and, crit? Uh, it's high crit. No way. It, it has 100 base damage. Oh, my gosh. And, like, I was so intrigued by the move during the run that I had to make changes to the overlay to, like, express how powerful it was. It's only got 80% accuracy, though, because it's a rock move. Of course, it only has 80%. Yeah, of course. Um, oh, if you like the math, I have another math minute in that video. So we go all over. You'll see formulas on the screen, graphics, numbers. From J. Rose Vids. See, that makes sense. If you find my stuff from, like... He said, I found both Scott and Matt from J. Rose. That makes sense. I mean, like... Say what you will. Like, I know some of you guys say, talk bad about J-Rose, but if he's making content and it's doing good, we're doing good. Like, we're getting more views from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I think, like, my my view on things has always been, like, I think that, uh, like, people in the same niche as you are are not your competition. Like, these are the people that, like, you work with and that you share ideas with and that uh, help, like, push you to the next level. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a community, like, there's, uh, like, a level of interaction between, like, viewers where they see some other video and they go, oh, I want to check out this person's video or something like that. Oh, um, I'm out of J-Rose videos. What is this recommended to yeah. me? I guess I'll watch this. And then, like, it'll just trickle down. So, like, if someone is on my dry bread and J-Rose, then all of a sudden they find Scott. And yeah. then all of a sudden they might find me. And then they'll find somebody else. And then all of a sudden they're like... Yeah. I think hey, I'll... If you go down on this little totem pole there's actually a lot of people yeah and there's like a lot of interesting stuff going on um i think like uh i learned that like earlier on when i was doing a lot of music performance and i just like if you view like your fellow performers who are in the same orchestra as you if you view those people as competition uh your life is going to be extremely miserable because <laughs> every day you have to be around a ton of really talented people and you're never going to be the most talented person in the room. And it's just like, that's fine. Like I can just like be, I can be like the small guy that's just like doing his thing here at the back. Uh, I don't need to be the star of the show. And we're all, all of us together are like working towards something that's like bigger than all of us could individually do. Yeah. And if it was just like, like, if you were the, if you, right now, if just the other channels ceased to exist, it would just hurt you, you know? Yeah. Like, there'd be a lot less people, like, It'd be lonely. Overall. Like, if a few, like, the top few channels just disappeared, it would just be like, hmm, I guess no one's watching this anymore. 
Like, I'm not going to get discovered alone. It just helps to have that engagement. But YouTube's weird, though. I don't worry about it personally too much. Just try to have fun with it, you know? Yeah. The classic version, yeah. J Rose has his own style. Yeah. J Rose, I mean, like, there's no, J -Rose there's no doubt it's successful. Yeah. I think, like, also, like, uh, it tends to be the case that people who are, like, newer to similar formats, they, they tend to kind of, like, uh, the style, like, mimics people who are bigger for a little while, and then they, like, they uh, will slowly, like, drift into their own kind of oh, for sure. unique take on that. it. Oh, me too. I, um, I used to work overnight as a technician, and uh, I'd listen to j Rose videos every night, and then, like, I got some time, and I was like, why don't I just do that? Like, what's stopping me from just trying it out? Because it looks so fun. Like, I used to play these games all the time. I want to play them again. And then just from there, you know. Yeah. It got to me for a while there. Like, after you do it for a while, I got to this, like, mindset where I'm just, like... It kind of like music, I guess. Like, I don't know if you feel this way, but sometimes you listen to music, and it's hard just to enjoy it because you can sit there and you're just listening to, like three different things inside the music and you can't just enjoy the music as a whole because you're listening to the details <laughs> of it yeah and like i'll watch something like a j rose video and i just can't like for a while i couldn't enjoy it because i would just sit there and i would look at it and i would say he should be doing this he yeah. should be doing that he should be doing this and like i took a step back and i was like no just like enjoy it for what it is <laughs> The thing I notice the most is whenever he does a cross dissolve and there's something moving in one of the frames, like on either side of the cross dissolve, I'm just like, no, 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 like, please, <laughs> please freeze frame on both sides of the cross dissolve. So it's really clean. Um, but that's like a tiny, that's like a tiny little editing detail that I've like, my eye has become very like attuned to after watching yeah. Van Man's videos. Cause his Van Man's video editing is, uh, so clean. Uh, how he stitch stitches together all the footage. It just looks yeah. so good. I remember I watched his Santru video maybe a year and a half ago and immediately sent it to my video editor. And I was like, every video has to look like this. Like, this is like the new standard uh, because, yeah, it just looks so good. Okay, I tried Brocket 18 and it, it's not good. It's not? The, no. You think it was bad luck because of the... No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I ran out of PP the two extra on the Onyx. levels are really killing it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I maybe nineteen. Like it's because it, it takes a long time to get one level, but like twenty is going to be twin needle, and that's going to change everything. Do you still get like like you're getting like you're easily like big enough to where you're just your own person now, and you're at the point to where you've spawned. I'm making this like a podcast now for my like <laughs> interview. But like uh you're at the point to where you've like spawned like 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 when I first started with J Rose, like you've spawned yeah. a lot of people that inspire to be like you, so they do videos like you now. Um oh my god, did I just lose my train of thought? <laughs> anyway, you've you've spawned these people. I'm gonna get it back. Hang on, guys. Yeah, you just take your time. It's okay, we didn't expect this to be an interview. I'm pausing the timer. For that, I'm, taking a drink. Like, I'm taking a drink. Of, I'm yeah. taking a drink of water. <laughs> God, I had such a good question. I got. I got to think of what the. I got to think of my question to follow. Follow your amazing. What question did up. I say? What did I say at the start? I said you're big enough now to where you've like inspired like other people to. Yeah. Do so. What did I say at the start? That's the key to unlocking key? what I was going to say. I've lost like, it. How do you Chat. feel? Or it was like. What do you think? I think it was, what do you think now that you're big enough? Someone will re someone will rewind the stream okay, okay, and okay. tell you exactly what it is. I'm, I'm getting it. Hang on. Uh, it'll come back to me. Because someone says, God is such a pro in the chat, and it got me onto something. Oh, uh, yeah. Comparing styles. That's not jostling the memory. It was something like, yeah, we yeah were... give me... Give me on the right. Track, we were chat. comparing styles about like different YouTubers, and then YouTubers like when they start out, they like have their like they kind of like mimic other people in the community first, and then yes, slowly over time drift towards their own style of content. I wasn't. Come on, I wasn't saying a slew of people were copying Scott. 
That's not what I was saying. I was saying he's like, like it's a compliment. Like he's successful enough and good enough at what he does that other people are like, hey, I want to be like that guy, so I'm going to do what he does. It's like, like you're not. If somebody's like, oh, Michael Jordan's really good, I'm gonna, I want to go shoot basketball and be just like him. You wouldn't say, you idiot, you're copying Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you copying stuff like that. yeah like copying can be uh copying is like it's like a tricky situation because like a lot of times people will look at stuff and go like hey you copied this that's like uh oh i got it okay, okay whenever What's you get question? done i got go, it go, go, go let's do it okay you're big enough to where you know you're at that point to where you have like spawned other people and stuff now but do you still get comments that say stuff like you're just copying j-rose When's the last time you got a comment saying something like that? I do still get those comments sometimes. Uh, I, I think they're they're like they're not, you know. Honestly, they weren't that frequent even when I started. God, I get them all the time still. It and like, they they were uh, it was it was never actually a bother to me because, literally, when I started the channel, I was like, I'm gonna make videos exactly the same way that J-Rose and my dry bread make videos and I'm going to post them on my channel and that's going to allow me to learn how to do video editing. That was the entire yeah. goal of the channel was just to learn video editing. And so when people are like, hey, you just copied like J-Rose and my dry bread, it's like, yes, <laughs> that's literally what I did at the beginning. And then after people started watching my stuff and I really fell in love with the format, uh, then I like slowly started figuring out like how I wanted to approach these and I changed a lot of things and versus videos. Yeah. And like random crystal Pokemon that no one talked about in years. Yeah. And so I sort of like found my way slowly, but it, um, yeah. So like it, whenever I get those comments, it's like, yes. Okay. Like I, I see that you see that and that, that is accurate. Um, well, I don't get them as often anymore, but the previous one, the, the latest one I got was like, I was the Timu version of J Rose. <laughs> The witch? Uh, Timu. It's like the new kind of wish. T E M U. Maybe I'm saying okay. it wrong. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, like, oh, cool. cool. I ran out of PP against Brock after almost knocking the Onyx out. It's very frustrating. Fine. Yeah, J Rose at home. That's what it was. And I get it, like, uh, up until, like, last year or so, like, late into the year. Like, I would still name my stuff similar to J-Rose just because I think it's a good yeah. name. I think, because I watch a lot of other content. For example, I'll watch, like, Can You Beat, blah, 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 Fallout, New Vegas, blah, blah, blah. And it's, like, just a common way to name stuff. Yeah. Like, and I try to get away from it. And uh, I think it's going to take some time for it to, like, the views to build back up to where they are. Like, just because I'm changing the naming conventions. But... You know, someone posted you my unique style is spamming sleep inducing moves for longer than most people would. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. And not knowing the type effectiveness chart. Great. For A lot marketing. of people would say that uh, Pika Spray probably started like the solo running stuff. J Rose just popularized it. That's yeah, what I, a lot I, of historians would say. Yeah. Yeah, it might be faster actually just deplete all of Focus Energy's PP, you're right. Is that where we're going to be at in this run? I think so. I'm struggling to... If Snowy's still here. Snowy. Snowy's still here. Yeah, Snowy, what level? The... What level uh, for Brock? <laughs> Tell uh, me. I... <laughs> it's like we're approaching 30 minutes on the clock. This is feeling bad. I'm at a minute, an hour 20. Um, oh yeah, I, I should like, Appreciate I'll, that, Justin. I'll mention like the copying stuff though that I was talking about before you asked the question, which yeah. is, uh, just like everyone like is copying something, uh, within the music community, there is this quote that gets thrown around and usually I think it's misattributed to Stravinsky. Uh, please look it up yourself. Cause I, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know who said it, but it's basically like, uh, good composers borrow, great composers steal. And it's, uh, it's like this idea of like, you have to like take stuff from other people to like make art. And uh, just like borrowing something is not always enough. Like you have to steal something entirely. Like just like, this is mine. Uh, it's not it's someone else's. Uh, and there's this, then the other quote that goes around is the, um, I think it's Oscar Wilde. It's like a uh, flattery or uh, mimicry is the 
highest form of flattery? Where basically, like, if someone you're close, copies... You're close, but I can't remember the exact quote, but the, yes. Mimicry is the... Anyways, something. the idea is basically... Imitation, imitation. Yes, yes imitation is the highest, or the most sin the sincerest form of flattery. Yeah. Um, yeah, Homer got it in the chat. Uh, and, and like growing up, uh, as being in music, like these things, these like ideas really sunk in. Uh, so when I like show up, uh, and I'm like, I'm just going to make like, uh, I'm just going to make something that's like J Rose's video. And like, uh, someone mentioned plagiarism, uh, by the way, the H bomber guy video. Great. If you haven't seen it. Um, oh, I, I watch, I watch all the H bomb. Yeah, like yeah. Me too. Harris bomber guy. Yeah. It's like a four hour <laughs> video. It's awesome. Um, but like plagiarism is like one thing, but like. It's like you don't just like copy the same like piece of music that the person wrote. Like it's like you need to you need to bring something that is your own to it. So like it's not like uh just take J Rose's video and like re-upload it on your channel. Like no, like do the solo run yourself and put your own voiceover on it. That's like enough of a spin to be like, this is mine now. Uh even though the style is originated by someone else, that sort of thing. Uh, anyways, that's right. That's where I came from growing up is is where like that is like kind of the practice and you just say like like as long as you say like hey i got this style from this person then it's okay it's like citing your sources you're just like this is the style of video i'm exactly, doing i'm making yeah. this also i got twin needle now so brock is uh brock is done did you say 18 ah uh, i tried 18 i tried 19 they both didn't work i just beat it at 18 oh what <laughs> you get rid of focus energy yeah. and i don't even i, I kind of blacked out i'll be honest with you that's probably <laughs> it okay I kind of blacked out, but like I just got rid of focus energy, and I see you struggle at the end. But like, you know, my beat yeah. was beating up. Uh, anyways, honestly, only only ten minutes slower than yellow, but I think yellow we were just underprepared. Well, definitely underprepared and like not warmed up and stuff. But yeah. Anyways, like uh, in not all like communities view um like copying as like acceptable and i would say like the gaming community in general is a little bit less accepting of the idea of like copying things or uh taking okay. inspiration from other people and it tends to be a little bit more of like uh there is like a higher prescribed ownership to ideas and where they originate uh, so that was something like i learned in the community uh, fairly early on on my channel like i uh i was looking at thumbnails for other people I was just like, who has the best thumbnail? Like, who genuinely has the best thumbnail? And I looked at a bunch, and I, eventually I was just like, you know, like, J. Rose's thumbnails, like, they just look, like, so um, clean. I do I do like his thumbnails a lot. Yeah, they're, like, so clean and consistent. And and the thing that really stuck out stuck out to me was that um, he was putting his name on the... Uh, on like the left hand side of the screen, As like like a like a Super Nintendo game or like yeah. a Game Boy cartridge. I did not realize that. I just saw like, oh, he's utilizing like the fact that like, thumbnails like Pokemon art is generally kind of square, and so like when you're trying to fit the Pokemon on the screen, it takes up like, uh, not like the full width of the screen. So then like the fact that he was using some of the horizontal space to put his name vertically along the edge of the screen, I was like, that's a great idea. Like utilizing the space really efficiently to tell the viewer which channel they're watching if they don't look down in like the under part of the video and see like, oh, this is a J-Rose video. So I was like, I'll just do that. I'll just like put a little bar along the side of the screen and put my channel name there and uh, good to go. Um, <laughs> yeah, not good to go. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, someone reached <laughs> out. let you know. <laughs> yeah, someone reached out to me and was like, hey, he's kind of he's kind of mad at you like for stealing this thing from him. I was like, what? Like, Man, oh, I'm like a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, uh, like immediately I just, I sent him a message on formerly Twitter and was just like, Hey, like I, I, I heard that like, you might be a little bit angry about this. Like, I hope you're <laughs> not. Cause like, I didn't mean anything by it. Um, anyways, uh, then, uh, he was just like, yeah, like I thought of it as like the super Nintendo graphic and like, it was like something I took a, spent a lot of time thinking about and that kind of thing. Um, and so then I was just like, okay, well I'll just change my thumbnails. Cause I didn't realize that it was the super Nintendo order like that. And that seems like very distinct and uh, very original. So then once I had that context, I was like, well, I'm just going to change it. So that didn't feel like something I needed to like hang on to. So then I redesigned my thumbnails. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Like I've redesigned mine like a hundred times. 
And it's so hard to like. Your thumbnails are great. Your thumbnails are. They've changed. So good. I, they, they've became like minimalistic now, but like. There's well, there's times like my wife, like I'll I'll make something. One time I made I, I spent so long. I spent like a whole day making a new thumbnail style. And I got done with it. And she mm. was just like, That looks like Scott's. You need to change it. And I was like <laughs> uh, I was like, huh. I, I was like Yeah. I was like, I didn't I was like, I didn't even look at his. Like it just came out that way. I was like, yeah. please change your opinion and she was like, No, like you need to you need to do something else and I was like yeah. oh. <laughs> there's only like the the thing about thumbnails too is like there's um there it does very much feel like there's only so many ways to present the same type of information visually like because it's a very limited piece of information like the information set it's like solo challenge the pokemon you're playing the version you're playing uh that's about it so yeah there's only so many ways yeah to you gotta like, like figure out a cre like an interesting and creative way to do that in a way that someone else hasn't and the thing I've been thinking about a lot uh, lately is, like, there is, like, a kind of, like, standard, I would say, like, Poketuber style with, like, these... Uh, you you kind of have it, like, in your letters, but I think the thing that really makes yours stand out is the the Pokemon and how you put the art on the screen. It looks really good. I've been drawing it. Yeah, it's so good. Like, huge <laughs> I look props. at the T I look at the TCG. I look... I got a TCG database okay and i'll and i'll look through every pokemon and i'll be like that'd look good on a card and then i'll just take it and i'll blow it up and i'll get on my ipad and i'll uh get it and then i'll just use my own shading and all that kind of stuff on yeah. it and like blow it up and make it look good but like so good it's so hard to find quality images it is you know yeah it really is yeah Brian has been doing all of my thumbnails except my live streams. Uh, and like Brian's been doing a really good job. I, would, I just wish I like, it would be awesome if I was as like talented as, uh, as you are to draw them all. Well, it's almost like if you just think about it, kind of almost like making a sprout, making a, uh, making a back sprout for Pokemon. Yeah. Like you just develop a little bit of a style yep. and you can just use the other thing for a reference and just get over it. Like it's really not too bad. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and claim and be like, oh, yeah, I got this perfect art or whatever. But it's just like, uh, it's not that, like, it's not even my own idea. It's just from the yeah. TCG. I'm just making sure it looks good and, like, high definition. I think the Squirtle one, I think I got a Squirtle video coming out this next week. And I got, I wanted to do Squirtle Squad so bad. Nice. And it doesn't look as good as the other ones because oh yeah, you know, anim the anime is not drawn as good as right. a card. Yeah. You like the word puns? I like that too. Uh, those old days of the word puns, but you know you gotta grow up, I guess. I don't. It don't make any sense, but you gotta evolve, I guess. Oh, we have a error graphic there. Sorry. I'm um, just making sure that like, if there's ever a day where stuff catches on and gets established, like, I want to make sure it's not a fluke. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, I'm making sure that like. I yeah. didn't do this weird run that blew up and then all of a sudden the next week the views are down. I want to make sure mm -hmm. that I'm consistent and make stuff the same way each time rather than just like catch a stroke of luck yeah. one time. Yeah, it's like there's like a, like that's uh, something else I, I thought about a lot is like, uh, like obviously everyone knows that clickbait does really well on YouTube. Like yes. some like absurd claim and then you go like, don't answer it in the video or it's like a tiny part of the video stick around to the end to find out yeah and it's like not a big deal um i haven't been catching hm users you don't have a uh like a paris manip no <laughs> uh um wow. what i did as a backup what i used to do is i i changed i want to play red version i don't want to play blue version ever so what i did since sanctuary is a blue version on the patch of grass outside of uh, Celadon, uh, I would make all those encounters uh, get turned off. Sand shrews just for a backup. Yeah, there's still oddishes and whatnot. God, I, I gotta hit find the... an oddish. Yeah, I hit the ah. wrong guy. That'll be a big point of a video for this, like. Like, it's surprising that 
Twin Needle is just neutral to bug and or rock ground. Yeah. Twin Needle is really good. Magic Spoon? How did you guys know? That's what's up next. A word from our sponsor, Magic Spoon. Oh gosh. Is Magic Spoon a real product or y'all just saying that? I don't th I don't know if it is. Do you both occasionally play competitive Pokemon? I don't play competitive Pokemon. I would be truly awful at competitive Pokemon with how much I forget. Every the once in a while I'll watch a video. I probably watch more fighting game competitive videos than I do Pokemon competitive videos. I watch some weird stuff like like H bombs of thing that I'll watch. Like I'll sit down, I'll say, hmm, four hour video, I'll sit down and just watch all of this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Fresh Did you have you watched of like uh like H bomb's older stuff? Like uh, uh not that like much. Blood, Bloodborne analysis. I did whatever. watch that, yes. You say you did? I did I did watch that this week. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. The um Fallout 3 is garbage is pretty good. It's like a little clickbaity, but mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was I talking think, about clickbait. I think he articulates the point i mean calling something garbage that people a lot of people like is definitely going to get the clicks yeah know? i like that was something i decided though on my channel that's what i was going to say is like i'm going to like just not clickbait in thumbnails and i'm going to not really clickbait in titles uh and so like most of my videos like sometimes i like if it's like relevant to the story then i'll do it like of the video but if it's not i just try and avoid it because i think the thing is like like everyone who's watching all you guys in chat you're all amazing thank you for showing up and like hanging out and playing like or watching us play like a really old pokemon video game that's unless you're that razy old guy then i've ruined <laughs> scott for you unfortunately yeah lost a subscriber <laughs> today um like i think it's incredible that we have this like community and these people like we're all coming together to like enjoy something that we all love and it feels a little bit off to me to like, mm, like chip away at that relationship by clickbaiting in every one of my videos. So I'm gonna lose to the rival here. Okay. Uh oh. Didn't go well. I made a mistake. You know how if you use rage and you get hit with a sand attack and you miss. Yeah. I got mad and I went rage after I got sand <laughs> no. attacked. No. <laughs> uh. Somebody brought up a good video. Have you seen that H bomb video called uh, "The Roblox Oof"? Yes, yes, that's a God, good one. that video is so weird. It's and, like, so weird. Takes a oh, such a weird again? turn. Wait, okay, so like, um, the rival in the SSN is causing a lot of problems for me. Uh, the sand attack because you don't have high damage on the yeah Fugia, sand attack, the and then and then the Charmeleon has Ember. Yeah, and it has... And, like, you don't really have, like... Oh, okay, I poisoned it this time. That's nice. It does a decent amount of damage, too, and I'm missing, like, all of the place. That is something that we're not thinking about, and I think that... Wow. Pathologic... Yeah, well, I mean, I've, I've seen all of them. Like, I've watched... I watched the... I went on a bender the other day and watched... Not the other day, I, maybe the end Sorry, of Sorry, I had to reorder some windows here. A little delay there. Come on. Yeah. Oh, sand attack. Sand attack is my least favorite move. Yeah, that's one of the things I don't like about red, sand attack. It's like they, they focus it. It's like yellow knew to rebalance it a little yeah. bit and like kind of lean back on it. But like, you know, just from the light years trainer, they knew that somebody one day would be doing this blackout <laughs> grounding and they put it in the forefront. <sighs> and then uh, the P the Pidgeotto, uh, Banson Saber, thanks for the five. Uh, What did you say? Wow. Barely made it in time. No, we got... There's plenty of time. Trust me. Am I still watching? Yes. I'm almost at that rival, so we'll see. Sometimes I it's like been... surprising the roadblocks that you'll get yeah. to. So this has been really be rough. It could be something that like... Oh, finally. All the bottom floors of the uh, sailors, maybe even some route. Uh, there's some poison tops on route. Uh, I never know the name of the route, but I go there sometimes with the engineer on the side. Oh, what is it? Route 11, 11, 13? 11. Yeah. It's 11, yeah. Yeah, Hector, I've thought about making shorts for like stuff that I explain all the time, like badge boost glitch and stuff like that. But the problem is, is that I don't know if I could do it in like three minutes or one minute or whatever it is. Like, 
I think a short for me is like 20 minutes long. I'm, I'm not on my thing. Okay. I got burned. Oh, yeah. Surge is worse. Oh, my God. And I, and I haven't saved it in a while. Surge is very different in red and blue. I forgot he's not just one Pokemon. Yeah, fast Voltorb with Sonic Boom. Oh, Pikachu that's wanting to... It's annoying. I didn't lose twice it, this time, so I'm happy about that. It's annoying. Just like It's just like Yellow Version, but just a alternate timeline version. Yeah. I'll get rid of the potions. I didn't save, and I lost some progress. And I'm upset about it. I hate... I hate forgetting to save. I just didn't think that the, um... You know, the gentleman... Yeah, Surge has me good AI in trouble. Gen 1. In, in, uh, yellow, I think all of them do. Version. In red. They in just red, yeah. tweak some stuff Yeah, around. I think they all do in red. Well, you gotta be careful. Like, a shorts channel wouldn't be a bad idea. But I think if you start putting shorts on your main channel... Oh. I don't know if it would hurt you, but like a smaller channel, it does hurt because like you get the, you know, TikTok brain <laughs> people subscribing and they don't want to watch. A, long it's a very, comment. yeah, it's a very different audience, but they don't want to do that. They just, they just want to see the TikToks, the shorts, the whatever. And like, that's fine. I'll get, I'll get caught up on shorts sometimes. Sometimes I'll go through, like, I'll be looking at shorts for an hour and I'm like, is it two o'clock already? But a lot of people oh. just don't want to. Oh, they'll I'm... subscribe, but they'll just be dead subscribers. I lost to the gentleman again. I apologize, everyone. This red is brutal in the cave. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it looks so bad. Oh, is it a new color? That yeah, no, yeah. It's like a, a, when the menus, the white turns into like the, the darker color. It, it looks really bad with my current <laughs> my current color scheme. <laughs> uh... I thought about doing a custom palette for everything. I haven't got around to it. I'm not I'm not the hugest fan of the blues like in like for example in Celadon or like on Gyarados. Mm, yeah. I think it's like very I think it's so harsh. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. And I and I thought about changing it around, but I just never got to it. I probably need to use an elixir. It doesn't matter. I got sand attack twice, so guess I'm dead. I thought about like for a while I was like like J Rose, how he like colors the videos for every one of his Pokemon. For a while, I, I like did that for my very first video. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was like, oh, maybe I should do that. Like, it looks really good. And then uh, after um, the thumbnail stuff, I was like, you know, it's not worth it. <laughs> like, <laughs> then it, then it actually looks like I'm just being awful. Was this like, like that whole thing that we that you talked about earlier with that? Like, was this like early in your? career like when you first started doing stuff and like first started getting a little views it, uh it was not really early it was like there, there was a like a an era of the channel where like my thumbnails do look very similar to j roses so it was that era essentially so not like really early on but my thumbnails were honestly trashed in that like go back and look at the first videos i post on my channel it's like red text on a green I watch, background i, I you go like, back and i watch <laughs> i go back and watch the licky tongue video every once in a while oh my gosh yeah anyways in minutes <laughs> yeah, it is. It's really short. But like those those thumbnails are just really bad. So it was I think it was like right after I redesigned them from that that I I like it like I I don't know when he noticed and like radicates when the It was probably modern... someone else sent it sent the the videos to him. Like I'm sure he didn't notice himself. Someone was probably like, "Hey, this guy's thumbnails look exactly like yours." I um, can't um I can't believe like Imagine being a channel with. I, I think I think overall the situation like I think you're handling it maturely and like you you know you did what you thought you had to do, but think about like being a channel that has like three hundred thousand people like on like that's a lot of people yeah. and like being like I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Like it it's like uh, I think like the. The issue is like I understand it. Like again, you'd have to like ask him about this, but like I don't know. It's like I, I don't. Think I wouldn't recommend really doing that. <laughs> I don't think he's ever um, talking to me. Like I, I think the issue is more that like it was something that like he felt very proud of, and it felt like very uh, personal. Like 
Like this feels mm. like his personal style and like his calling card kind of. And like that's not really how I thought of it. Like thumbnail is like when I was back then I was just like thumbnail is just essentially like a way that I just say like hey this is the video I'm making. Like uh, I wasn't really thinking very in depth about it. I wasn't thinking mm, like maybe like intelligently about it. And uh so I think he was uh, like I think it's like the the personality like there it, he felt it was like part of his personal style and and that like when he said that I was like oh yeah like of course like um like I'll just change my thumbnails like because I like again it's like I my goal is not to just like oh I don't have how <laughs> to dig uh, my goal is not to like copy anymore uh, like like when I started that was definitely the goal but uh, my goal is not to copy so. Then it became more than you ever thought. <laughs> yeah, and like also like if like something about my videos is very similar to someone else's videos, and they're like, "Hey, that's like something that like I didn't want you to take." Like, be like, "Okay, sure." Like, how can I re remove it, or like, what can I do to like make this better? Like, I want uh, you, my goal is like, me? "Do you want money?" <laughs> <laughs> my like, I just want uh, everyone to like have fun playing Pokemon together. Like, so like if something I've done is hindering that, then just change it yeah makes sense uh jacob rapidash is entering the production phase now so that'll be the title of the video oh my rapidash the first thumbnail i remember is can you beat with only an abra uh from who jeros yeah i mean we all got inspiration I would feel good if J-Rose got mad at me. I'd be like, wow, he noticed. <laughs> uh, it was actually the opposite for me. I, I felt extremely devastated. Um, I would have doubled down. I would have changed the my name of my channel to M-Rose. Well, that would be hilarious. <laughs> um, no, I actually, I, I couldn't talk to my wife for a, for a day. I was genuinely like extremely upset. I was just like, oh, I, uh, like... I, I was just like, oh, I got another flyer. That's great. Oh my god, I haven't had a dark rock tunnel in so long because I know it so like the back of my hand. Yeah, yeah. And going in here and it being dark was like a shock for a second. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen a dark rock tunnel in quite a while, just to make videos look better and stuff like that. Like, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen this place dark in a while. Yeah, it's it's hard to cut to that footage because everything is really black. I just removed the flash from that area. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like... um, What am I doing? Um, in the Gen 2 runs, I have put the... You know, Snow, we put the, um, the spinner manips or like where they'll face away. I added yeah. that to my runs, yeah. but I only added it in... When I feel like I'm like eighty to ninety percent positive that I could dodge the spinners on my own, you know? Mm, yeah. Like I wouldn't remove the flash from Rock Tunnel until like, like, look. I mean, I'm going through it without thinking, like, you know, until it's yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. M Rose eighty seven. Yeah. Anyways, like I felt bad about it when when uh, he reached out because like. When I like started the channel, like he was it's like one of the oh. yeah, he was like one of the two main inspirations. So like for me, it was always just like maybe there will come that point that like my content gets good enough that like uh like it would be possible to do like a collaboration or like um I, I could, think we like, give up do I something like that. Like that'd that be like so days. fun and so excited, uh, so excited to do it. And then like uh, the the when he notices me, my it's God. like he's like he stole my thumbnail. I'm like oh yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> That, Instead that, of being like, hey, this guy makes good Pokemon content. Like, yeah. I talk to him. like, he stole. <laughs> it's like, okay, like, number one, <laughs> fair, because uh, that was my process. Uh, and, and number two, like, oh, this is not exactly how I wanted <laughs> things to go. To be fair, I did steal. <laughs> yeah, and, and like, it, it came down to, like, a, like, again, it's like a misunderstanding. Like, I didn't think you I know? was taking something that was, like, a part of, like, identity. Like it's just like, a moment, this is just a way that you like lay out information well on a thumbnail. There was a moment a long time ago, or probably years ago. I remember being in the Discord and like somebody was asking about something or whatever, and you were just like, no, I would change it. It looks too much like J Rose. And, uh, yes, yes. And I was like, yes. I was like, okay. I was like, I was like, 
<laughs> I remember thinking back, and I was like, yeah, that's honest. That's probably correct. I was like, but why can't he use it? And I was like, oh, whatever. Now it's yeah. all coming together. <laughs> Yeah, you had like Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> it's just like, don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> He's coming for you. I mean, I think it'd be awesome if like some of those people. What I keep noticing, and what I'm. Yeah, it would be. It would be so awesome. Like, when I'm I... not gonna say pissed off or anything like that, but like I'm wondering why does my dry bread keep talking to you, but never doing stuff with you? With me. Because, like, on, like, Twitter, I've seen, like... Oh, like, yeah. Hey, yeah, we cool. chat. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm wondering when he's just going to be like, all right, finally, let's do something. Uh, actually, uh, oh, we might do something this month. Okay, that's what I was thinking, because I yeah. seen y'all talking, and I was like, yeah. man, is anything going to come with this? I, I asked him uh, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. I was like, hey, you want to do a video? Like, I'd love to do a video comparing Pokemon Red and Pokemon Yellow so that people can get a sense for, like, what the differences are between the solo runs. Um, this is before I did any of that kind of content on my channel. Um, and he was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, and then I got too busy and, I uh, wasn't able to actually make it happen. He, he's, he's really chill. dying and not saving it. Yeah, he seemed like a cool guy. Yeah. I think we had a discussion on the last stream that somebody was talking a slightly negative, more negative about the skill and I was yeah. like, it doesn't matter. Like, he's not trying to be good, and he seems like a really like genuine, nice guy. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't see any reason to. Yeah, like he, he's like very intentional with his thumbnails, where he like names it like, "Can I beat Pokemon Platinum with this?" With only because like yeah. it's like about his journey and his like personal experience with the Pokemon, rather than. Uh... It's just sitting down playing a run. It's yeah. not about the optimization. Yeah. It's just about the single run. Yeah. Very much J Rose, Majora Bread. Like they got the, that's the style for them, oh. and it works for them. I like long form YouTubers as well, which is weird because I don't like to put out. Incre I would never put out a four hour video like <laughs> in my entire life. Like no, uh, like Mewtwo versus Mew versus Zapdos versus Articuno. <laughs> yeah, like every legendary for Pokemon in Gen One. I, I saw one hundred and fifty one Pokemon for seven days, and this happened. Yeah, my my goal is always to make the videos as concise as possible, and then like I look at the final timeline, and it's like two hours and forty minutes, and like. Okay. Well, there's a. We're gonna go back to H. We're gonna go back to H bomb here. Oops. There's a video he made at one time called uh, "Sherlock is garbage and here's why." Yes, I know that video. And there's a line in the video that I think about a lot. He says, "Like I think any writer would be better if they wrote yes. a script and then someone forced them to take out, you know, so much like yeah, like fifteen like percent or something. Take, yeah, take out fifteen yeah. percent out of it. And I think about that a lot." And I never do it. <laughs> I, I always try when I'm when I'm making the videos, like uh, when I'm like, because I don't write scripts now. I do like the voiceover and I do multiple takes uh, for all the lines. And then like when I'm going through it, like usually what it comes down to is like I'll edit the footage and then look at the footage and go like, okay, hey, what can I remove? Like, what do I absolutely not need to talk about? Like, I don't need to talk about picking up surf. Like, that's just like boring. Um with a one out with a one man team like like I got going, it's so hard to do that. But I need to do it more. I just I don't script anymore. Like no. that's the problem. Like I'll script out like the first like five or six minutes and make sure like I'm really on point on what I need to say. And then after that, it's just slowly off the rails. Like I yeah. might go on a tangent about why something can't use dig or something. I don't know. Like I just it'd just be so imprecise. But I don't know. It is what it is. I'm sure there's yeah. some people that like it. There's some people that uh, will say that I've ruined Scott. <laughs> in the chat. I, like, uh, yeah, uh, my goal is like, I want to be able to make a video. Like, so number one, like the first thing is like, uh, a lot of people will say like, if you script, like your thoughts will be like clearer. And that's not always the case because my writing is really bad. Like I'm really bad at reading. I'm really bad at writing. So when I like write stuff down, it's not always that it gets more clear. It just takes longer and then like <laughs> isn't always better. So that was like one reason I moved away from it. Um, but also like I'm never going to get better at putting my thoughts together on the fly if I don't practice it. So then I was like, well, exactly. I'm just going to start practicing this style and uh, over time I will get better at it. And uh, hopefully at some point it will reach the point where like people won't be able to tell that I'm not using a script. I got really good at it 
And then, like, I got self-conscious about it. Maybe there was some comments or something like that. And, like, I got kind of away from it. And I spent, like, the last half of the year, like, down on it. And I started fully scripting everything again. Yeah. And uh, I made myself, like, all last month, like, go back. Because I was like, you got to do it. Because, like, it sounds more natural and is significantly faster. Yeah, that's another big thing, like, sounding natural. Like, I, I want it to come off. Like, my, I want my videos to be genuine. Like, I want people to look at them and go, like, yeah, like, he thought that like that that, that isn't like some canned <laughs> response that he came up with in a script and then just read out i didn't get source stance should do that i agree yeah, yeah like it's very important to me to for somebody to know that this is what i thought about the run i don't know i think too much about what somebody might think like yeah i don't know thinking the worst and like like i don't want somebody to be like he just clearly watched J Rose's video and like reworded his thoughts. I don't I think want anybody to ever yeah. think something like that. I think that's like this this type of content is like really hard to do that. Like because you're doing your own playthrough, so when it's your own playthrough, it's just yeah. So is Scott cool with J Rose? Yeah, totally. Like I'll teach double edge. I would I would do a lab with him right away. Be really Fujiros? fun. Yeah, yeah. That'd be For so sure. fun. He's so fun. Like, I, I very much think in the situation, like, I think I was in the wrong. Like, um. Uh, we had a pretty good Growlithe run. I wouldn't say I don't respect Growlithe. I'll just say that it's not very good. <laughs> Growlithe, yeah. I, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Like, there's no, like, I'm not looking forward to doing that one. Me. There's not much bias from me. It's just, it's not very good like it's just the facts okay the the pidgeot is a problem i could see that yeah it'll be a double ledger and the alakazam with speeds by one okay what does he have like 80 something speed there what does he have at that point Row uh, five the, the charizard outspeed. oh man it's already gonna be longer i think it might be longer now Wait, I can fight Koga. Why? I should have just gone and fight Koga right away. Because Koga's team is terrible against Beedrill in this oh, game. Oh, and he's weak against Twin Needle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the mistake. A half sylph. Ah, took me too long to recognize that. I think oh, Argonaut well. will be okay, to be honest with you. I think he has the stats to carry it. It's just that oh. it's going to be a big no for me to the... Uh... I did the best I could with the Growlithe. I did two days worth of streaming. <laughs> No. And and the, what happened? Oh no, just like like that sounds awful. Like I'm laughing at oh, like did, two I days did of two streaming. Two days worth of streaming and then I took it offline and did an inconsistent Brock strap by just resetting over and over oh. until I got the run that I wanted. Why am I using agility when I'm already set up? I'm dead. No, rage. I am dead. Never mind. I killed myself. I don't have I don't want to use an elixir here and I'm not going to. It just is what it is. So we use, here's what we do. We use focus energy. I think you can Crit. skip all the PP ups in this run. I've been picking them up, but they're not useful. Yeah, you can just manage it better. That's what I always say. Yeah. Like, I think it's a, they're, they make the run easier, not faster. Oh my yes. God, Mega Drain. This is what it's made for. Like they force you to think less because you don't have to like worry about exactly um, running out or uh, having to go and do the center when you like backtrack out of a gym and waste time. But uh, if you just know that you're always going to have enough PP, then, like, you just don't need them. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. Like, not using Mega Drain. I, I, I fought the first Giovanni, so, like, not using Mega Drain in that situation oh, is yeah, yeah. stupid. It made a fight that I reset twice on just be, like, full health at the end. Okay. Don't put people in timeout for no reason. <laughs> Let's not do that. That's not a... Accuracy drops on Coco while setting up against the coughing are kind of annoying, but like, what screens, it, yeah. like it still doesn't matter. Oh, self destruct! No, the wheezing crit me with self destruct. Oh, that hits hard. Yeah, it knocked me out from full health. Wow. Okay. I'm once again going to skip vitamins, but the fact that you undersped Rival Five makes me worried. You know, what? I'll buy a couple of car bus. 
I'll just do it. Yeah, I think Carbos might have been the correct choice here uh, for the rival, because I was one speed slower than the rival's Alakazam. Like, Sabrina won't be as fast, but the Charizard's pretty speedy. I can afford another one, but I'm only going to buy three. Usually three plus the free stuff is about all you can use for the run. I'm glad everyone has reckoned it. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a strength user. Oh, uh, I guess I need Lapras for that. That's Or Paris, but rip Paris. I haven't played Red and Blue in a while. Yeah, do you use a um, like a guaranteed Pidgey to make like all runs consistent? Uh, yeah, I force the Pidgey encounter, but I don't guarantee the catch. Okay. So, yeah. so the Pokemon uh, has to be able to weaken it itself to get higher catch rates on the Pokemon. I guess it's been so long since you played Red that like you just do the same thing on Mount uh, Mount Moon Floor One. Yeah, 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 that, uh, yeah. I didn't think about it. You just uh, yeah, there would be no reason for you to do it randomly. Why do Carbos make you faster? Yeah, Carbos should make you slower, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I was probably... like, it makes me sleepy. Oh. Now that you mention it. Okay, uh... It's like other things, okay. like don't, you can't... Oh man, and the Gyarados on the team too. Yeah, that's right. It's not gonna fight. be, it's, it's not gonna be tougher than the final champion fight, but I think throughout the game it's gonna be a little bit more annoying. Just like pre-champion. Yeah. I really could like that poison chance. This is not looking good. Runners eat a ton of spaghetti before the race. Maybe. Okay. Maybe the late game is not going to be that hard. It's probably rare candies now at the rival. Because Blaine is not as I challenging. Have... Why is there a sylph scope here and not nine super repels? Oh, with super potions? Did you buy super potions instead? No. That uh, happens to I think me my all bags the time. Are, I think my bags were full. Uh, <laughs> so uh, many times I get there, I open my inventory, I have 10 super potions. I'm like, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it does say super in the name. Hello, John. This is not what I wanted. Yeah, that is okay. true. Whew. I think... I'm going to... Uh... Use gamey hooky here. <laughs> to fix it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no... I think my bags were full, and I had 12,000 left over at the end. Remember, everyone, this is not a race. It's going. Yeah, it's not a race. Physical electric moves one? Yeah. Apparently. Kamado Berry. I just, I learned this from comments, but in Gen 4, there are berries that reduce the amount of damage your Pokemon takes from certain moves. Like, uh, in BDSP, I don't know if it's in the regular Platinum, it's been so long since I played it, but like, for example, Cynthia's Garchomp, like, their Pokemon are like competitively EV yeah. trained with like, yeah, they're really whatever, good. but like, they uh, the Garchomp at the end has the berry that has the ice, ice damage. Oh. So that's what you're going to do against Garchomp. And it's just like, nope. Ito legit. Yeah, I've seen some people lose a lot of late. Uh, a no. lot of weight on. Yeah, Yachi Berry. Did I get that? I think it would be very cool, and this might exist, if there was a berry. Oh my goodness gracious. I replaced the Sylph Scope and Game Hook when I did uh, the thing, and I wasn't even thinking. Ground types, ground types resist. Ground types resist Twin Needle. That's why I'm using it against pure ground types. Wait, what? Did somebody leave a comment? Yeah. I think, like... Oh, yeah, I guess, like, Twin Needle does more. I might have been trying to save PP. I don't know. I don't know what the exact situation was. Sometimes I'm, like, not using the more powerful move because I want it for, like, a little bit later and I don't want to run a PP. But I don't think yeah. that was the case. And you don't know right now. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, it's, like, the fear of the unknown. Have you I, ever, like, I, I know that you were talking about the randomizer with them, like, doing one with them. Have you ever done one of those? Yeah. No, I've never played a randomizer. It's ever. weird. Yeah. I ran about four or five. It's cool. It's it's not something I could, you know, see myself doing all the time, but just, like, to change it up, it feels yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to do, uh, I made, like, Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza sprites. So I think I'm going to do that those. I Rayquaza sprite, and it looks so much better than what I did. Like, it makes me want to. 
<laughs> oh no, I didn't see yours. No, mine's bad. Is it? Mine's... Well, I'd say it looks like it has lipstick, but that's kind of how a red <sighs> looks. That's anyway. how he looks. Yeah. I, I but was... yours had a different shape on the face, and like mine was not great, but I, yours looked pretty good. I had to debate the lipstick look for a while. And I, I did have a version of it that was very lipstick, and then I, I slowly changed it so that it was less lipstick. Also, these tiles are not that bad when they're yellow and white. Tails? The tiles oh, is it the, in Pokemon oh, the Mansion. Yeah, they're, they're not an awful tile set. Yeah, I've messed around with... um. Oh. There's like a very small channel called um, Porygon Delir has been working on like a map randomizer. Okay. And... uh. Apparently, like if you go through a door, you know, you know how map randomizer is gonna yeah, work. Yeah. But anyway, you go through a door, and like depending on where you came from, it'll change the tile set to that previous tile. So you'll see a lot of weird changes. Oh, weird. So it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, and Groudon things. gets bulk up, but we're gonna do backports of Groudon and Kyogre, so it'll be Generation One with them, and then a randomizer. This music is. What is this music? connection pokemon yellow wow music is it's like one note at a time okay i'm gonna be going up against blaine here i don't know how i'm worried about rival five and i should have already went to him to be honest with you but if you can get past that i don't really see much more challenge that's what I was thinking. Like, that's what I realized. Like, I was really struggling against Rival 5, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, this is red and blue. Like, I don't have to worry about the rest of the game. Once I clear this, like, this seems like the final boss almost. I think like, I'm what's going gonna be to be worse? I'm going to train on Cyclone Road. Uh, I'll probably just do the full seven bikers I usually do. And then I'll just Safari Zone, and then I'll get Swords Dance and just try to run through the game. Did you candy on Rival 5? Is that what you yeah, said Yeah, I did 7 on Rival 5 to go from 43 uh, I think to that's 50. Pretty good. I think your speed's good enough to where, like, unless you... Because we easily outsped the Gengars. Yeah, yeah. The last time. I think, like, Aerodactyl, but Aerodactyl itself's not even that much of a problem in red. Yep. No super effective, like, a crit fly or anything. Rival 5 is better in red and blue. Depends on the Pokemon... But he does have an Alakazam, so if you're weak to Psychic, yeah. that could be the case. Yeah, Rival 5 is definitely better in Red and Blue, I'd say. If you don't hit hard... There's no Cloyster, which is a difference. Yeah, Cloyster's very hard to get through. I mean, he makes up for it with the Champion fight. That The lead Sand Slash is like... Yeah, it's bad, like, right? I thought about putting Rapidash into Yellow. I was like, well, maybe it'll be a little bit better, and I was like, no... I'm not even gonna look at what level you'd have to be to make it past to to take Earthquake. Yeah. Tank a move and then knock it out. Like what level you'd need to be? Because Rapidash only has like 65 base HP. Like it's not pretty frail. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Giovanni's really easy. I didn't heal before the fight, and I used Twin Needle to knock the Rhydon out. Also, the ride on sprite in, in red and blue, really bad. Oh, you should see green version. Is it is it worse? They have this weird, like, all I can say is, like, they have this, like, weird, like, Niddle Queen, Niddle King, Rhydon, a couple of yeah. other ones. They have what I would call, like, capsule monster look. Like, oh, they're, yeah, like, yeah. kind of smush. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, <gasps> real early, almost, like, concept. Oh, I thought it's the rival's Pidgeot was stuck in... Agility, but it's randomizing between agility and wing attack. He loves to crit. Yeah, the rival here is actually easier because it has agility. So um, it gives you easier time setting up than it, he oh, did in yeah. Sylph. Sylph is harder than And if you can't set up and you just have to hold off, like, well, never mind. There's no reason you'd have to take agility. You're right. Yeah, 50-50, just like with Blaine. Uh, I'm about to make my moves on the mid game and kind of wrap it up. Let's see. Nice. There's just no way with the frame difference. There's no way I'd ever be able to keep up. But I try. I tried my best. Yeah. Chat. Raziel. Just know that I tried my best. Yeah, Rapid Dash has pretty, go. has a hundred attack and a hundred and five speed. Like it's got. It's good. Good it's stats. It's even got eighty special. 
Yeah, and and uh, Ponyta is like the highest single, highest base stat total sing, uh, first stage Pokemon in the game. It's not as bad as you think. Y'all are gonna be impressed with it. I'll yeah. tell you that. Y'all are gonna love it. I might have like shot myself in the foot because I open up with a skit. <laughs> it's like a twenty second long skit about the Pokemon fan club chairman. I love it. Oh yeah, because he loves his rabbit ash. It's a horror based skit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm having some inventory problems. And I, I had committed, inventory I can... problems this whole run. Oh really? Yeah. I, uh, I've been doing okay. I think I'll fill up soon. Yeah, I committed to the bit a little bit too hard, and I think like I can't go back now. Like you gotta commit to the bit. My problem is yeah, like uh, whenever I go for jokes like that, um, I'm so monotone that people don't actually know it's a joke. Uh, and then there's always people that comment on my video really sincerely, like, "Oh, you mean like it's called a dragon bug bug in Canada? I can't believe that!" Like, I, where I'm from, they're always called dragonflies. Like, <laughs> 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 like this is this is a joke. Uh, Apparently my tone did not communicate it well enough. Geodude says, "Dude, yeah, we'll get to the Geodude run eventually. I promise." Oh, no, I did no. that one. Did I did that one this year. It's not. Oh, it's not that bad. Loves it. They loves it when I say, uh, "Dude," because uh, I, yeah. I get so frustrated with the Pokemon. I think it's awful because it's just like it's a rock with arms. It, it is. has no legs, just arms, and you throw it out, and it's like Geodude, go, and it's just like, "Dude, dude, yeah." <laughs> Uh, dude. Don't get me started, chat. You're done. Don't say Geo, dude. You're getting timeouts. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just donated and said, dude. <laughs> We're done with dude, okay? <sighs> we'll get to it. I'm doing the Rapidash video. We're finally getting to that one. Yeah, I, th I thought Golem was incredibly good. Uh,. Yeah, Golem is yeah, so sure. good. It's so good. It's like everything Rhydon wishes it was. Yep. Rhydon's okay. Rhydon's fine, it, but like Golem it, is amazing. It's a little little too slow. You get that thing five base speed. Change its life, probably. Yeah, five base speed, like like just the slightly higher base speed and slightly higher special is just like it changes everything. <laughs> I was really impressed with Golem when I did a re like uh Dude. Yeah. Ooh, I used Mega Drain on Gyarados. So I was like, maybe I can get some health back. It did literally 10%. Oof. I'm dead. The Cloister is... Uh, Lorelei's Cloister keeps supersonicking me, and I keep critting it with qu Twin Needle, which is uh, really not working out well. Okay, snap out. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah, the Lapras. Banzan, I appreciate the second dude donation. Oh, uh, yeah, knock myself out. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. You really want a person bury in this. You, what was that? Did you just make an O oh noise? Like a O. Oh. Yeah, the Lapras got me. I thought me. it sounded like, uh, oh, my Rapidash that I do <laughs> on the screen. I was confused for a second. Come on. Okay, we set up times three. I wish he had a Rhyhorn here so I could steal it. I can't use double edge. I genuinely think Cloyster is part ice type because uh, late in development they were like, we need to add the ice type so that the dragons have something to be weak against. And then uh, that's why Cloyster is <laughs> ice type. Because they're like, there are no primary ice type Pokemon in Gen 1. Whew. Uh, no, yeah, it's a very weird fact. Like, And like, not even something like, yeah, there's just, there's not. There's just one weird one that's from Gen 9, which is, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. Not yet, dude. Um, oh, like Katoddle? Uh... It's a Gen 9 Scarlet Katoddle. It was in Pokemon Go spawning during the winter, oh. and I was like, never seen it before, and that thing's weird. I had a really, really, really close Bruno fight. Just sending that back in time for when you get like, here. Like, uh, like, submission? No, like Onyx, setting up on the Onyx at the beginning, and then it's using Rock Throw against me. <laughs> uh... Gengar. I hate, uh, I just, I don't care about spoiling anything to the chat. It's fine. Like, there's a fraction of what watched the video. I was doing a, gonna doing a Tyranitar cross gen oh. run, and Bruno doesn't have good AI, but for some reason, he just kept 
going for submission over and over and over. Yeah. And like, I cut out so much fat out of the run just because I was like, that's eh, Bruno. He won't do it. Yeah. He's too dumb. He's too dumb to do it. And then he, he's, that's the time that he does he, it. He did it. Yeah. yeah. He did it a lot. If you look at, if you imagine Beedrill's back sprite as complete the ears, it looks like he has little white bunny ears. Yeah, it's true. Actually, it does look like it has. Oh, yeah. Actually, I didn't realize those are antenna. I thought they were ears. <laughs> this entire were time, I thought they were ears. I didn't. I just now realized they're antenna. That's so funny. I'm just, I'm just sitting there staring at them like a little bunny. Yeah, bunny drill. The space world sprout looked pretty cool. I looked at it originally, and I was like, you know what? No, oh yeah, Articuno is primary ice type. Good, good point, everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. It's always the, that's always the case. I say something, and then everyone's just like, "Actually, you're really wrong." Like, yeah, fair. <laughs> uh, please don't attack me, Lear. Perfect. Uh, I think I'm dead though. Oh wait, Lance is like free, kind of, except the Aerodactyl. What's the Aerodactyl gonna do? You used to think that Goldine and Sea King's horns were party hats. <laughs> They're you're not wrong. They're ready to party. Hmm. That's the only thing I miss about like a faster speed, and I've I've started playing on my Gen two runs on times uh three speed as well. God, yeah, such that sounds logs. that sounds like a long yep. It's like it's satisfying because you just have such good like tight control, and I feel like I didn't do Koga yet. Cool, um, but at the end of the day, it's like man, I could already be done. I was doing it. Yeah, just a faster speed run. Oh, Churro's coming to say hi to everyone. Beedrill really looks like a bee, yeah? You're not wrong. Can you stop? Uh, we do this first. Come on. Oh, Supersonic. Supersonic is the worst. Do I have to mimic? I it's, think I gotta mimic I've again. had some of the worst, like... Like, when you see something hit Supersonic, it's like, okay, 55%. And then you hurt yourself, and it's like, okay, it's a 50%. Yeah. And then you hurt yourself again, it's like, okay, it's a 50%. Like, it's like, how how good can the luck be for you? Yeah. King's is your fave. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could see a Gen 2 King to run. I mean, it's just a perfect neutral Pokemon for the most part, like... I'm hesitant to do a bunch of water types, because I, I like... Like, for example, I really like Politoed. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I just don't think it's like, differentiates itself from any other type. So I'm like hesitant to do a bunch of water types in a row. Yeah. I think the water type is one of the most overrated solo challenge types. People are always just like, oh, it's so good. Like, water type's so good. Like, not really. <laughs> like, yeah, like, why didn't you teach your Starmie Surf? Like, it, uh, well, like, it's not, it's not actually amazing for a solo challenge it is a very good typing i i agree with that but it's not like the most incredible solo challenge typing agreed like i don't i don't know it's more defensive also like a lot of the water type pokemon are defensive which doesn't necessarily lend to like really fast results actually rest is the worst thanks homer for the two dollars ice is op on the offensive side uh i mean i can't disagree like i think ice is incredible in gen one offensively especially when you consider blizzard oh no sky attack <laughs> snap surf is really good but it's just it locks you into a situation to where you can't do anything like like you're stuck with it forever and it's it's fine for some pokemon because like it's all they get like cloister yeah Grab Surf and slap it on it, but something that learns a lot. I'm not going to be able to knock out the Charizard. Damn. Is this the champions? Yeah, I got to the champion. Uh, it's really okay, weird. The champion is so different between the games. Like Backloaded, maybe? I don't know. Champions are different. Red's like, very different. It depends. Like I see, I see a bunch of different rule sets for that kind of stuff. Like some people would be like, I've seen several people like, I'm gonna pick the worst team. I'm gonna pick the same team. I'm gonna do this. You know, yeah, like, yeah, everybody yeah. has their own interpretation. Yeah, it's all a little different. I'm glad we did the same thing for this run. Uh, but like, I know like Van Man, he picks the easiest team for the well, Pokemon he's running. One, you, God, you'd one shot the um, Venus for so hard. Double I think super this effective. needs to be a double edge. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it only matters if you're consistent between all your runs. But yeah. I, I find, like, these games could use a little extra challenge. Might as, might as well make it a little bit harder. <laughs> what? Double Edge just, like, barely didn't knock out the Pidgeot after one Swords Dance. Ugh. It was so close. Surf is uh. nice for soul in the game of Squirtle. Uh, yeah, I use... We got Squirtle coming out Sunday, and uh, Surf is definitely a move. We are full on items. Hopefully we can just keep that for the rest of the game and save whatever little minuscule, meaningless little time the gym leaders won't talk to us at the okay, end. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> Scott, why do you never use the best move in the game? It's Hyper Beam. It's surely a massive time saver. Thank you. <laughs> Being a member for what nine if that months. that is the time save? Yeah. I hope that's not the time save. Maybe, yeah. But what if it is in yellow? It might be with, like, Blaine? Maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's... I just... It, think yeah, it's too much. Like, think about what you could be doing with that time. Yeah. Double edge is going to work here. Mimicking Hyper right, Beam? Who do I mimic Hyper Beam from? The Gyarados? Yeah, but I don't think I have enough health by the time I get there. Like, I think that's the issue. I think I probably have... A, oh, I got a worse roll on the Pidgeot. And then it missed Sky Attack. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Gyarados being on Yeah. the champion team. I've yeah. seen him twice. I think Mega Drain for the Rhydon, so you have, like, some kind of recovery. So that then you have... Mega Drain still on the set. Yeah, so then you have more um, health... And you can use Double Edge once again later in the fight, but I think you need to set up to plus four before the Gyarados. There's no other options, like, because you don't want to be taking, like, Stomp from <sighs> right on. Wow. The, uh, Double Edge did very little to the Charizard, but I beat it. Okay, so my time is, like, one hour, 25 minutes, roughly. What's the game time? Which doesn't matter. 25 game resets, 28? 60, level 64. And what is the... Level 64. I just hear it is Tombstone. Ah, <laughs> uh, game time is... We're waiting for it. Game time... Is... 4.47. Why don't you set up on the right on? Yeah, I could have set up on the right on. That's actually a way better place to set up. Honestly, I think I was just, like, too hyper-focused on the fact that I need to uh, gain health back on the Rhydon. So that's what I was, uh, that I was just like, gotta, gotta knock it out quick, get the health back. And then after I knocked it out, I was like, oh, I still need to set up. I don't, yeah, I don't know much about, they're talking about Cricket, you know, you know, Cricketot, Cricketune? Yes. All I remember is when it debuted in Pokemon Go, for some reason I spent like a few days like, I can't repeat exactly what I said, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I say, I don't give a cricket a tot, I don't give a cricket a tune. <laughs> the, then we followed up with some expletives. That but, was one of the Pokemon that I considered doing a uh, run with in Platinum. For really? My, yeah, and then I looked at it and I was like, actually, <laughs> we're going to do different Pokemon. We're going to do Star Raptor instead. That could be cricket, a cricket no. Hey, I appreciate the donation yeah, earlier. Yeah, Krika, Krika oh. later on. <laughs> Krika next year. Yeah, next year, yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, I thought I Gen 1 miss. Okay, so are you on Rival 6? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. I think your set, I think the set that you're running is probably the best. Uh, like Swords Dance, Mega Drain, Twin Needle, and Double Edge. Because you can use I, Mega Drain to I gain back a with little the, bit. I played around with the Execute. Yeah. I set up one additional time, and now I'm going to pay for it. I was like, what are you going to do? Yeah, Charizard is going to get you. Yeah. I was like, what are you going to do? It really, it really feels like you sunlight. need Double Edge for the Charizard and the Gyarados. Otherwise, you can't knock them out fast enough. I'll just set up fully here no matter what. Yeah. Maybe I use... Well, it doesn't matter the, what I the, use here because the, I can get my back. Yeah, the Pidgeot's not actually that scary in this fight because uh, it, it only uses wing attack 50% of the time. Yeah, this, and I can just double edge with yep. impunity. Because you get all your health back on the ride-on that follows. And then we got the... Yeah, it's a dungeon. Yeah. 
Also, everyone, go check out Matt's stream. Link is in the description. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, already, I'm gonna watch. I'm more than watch while uh, he finishes as well. I'm more than happy with how the stream has turned out. Is, am I ever gonna stop the timer? I actually can't stop the timer. Um, I, I will reveal my it's secrets. Been a rough day. This is this is how my software works. Uh, this the the timer is built into the software, and there is no pause button. <laughs> So uh, it, it's supposed to automatically stop on the frame, uh, this frame right here. Uh, my... What is the frame for you? Is it like when trainer equals rival three and health alarm equals disabled? Yeah, that's that's one condition that I use. I split on the champion there, and then I split again on when the playtime shows up at the end. Oh, yeah. So it, it shows, like, the, the moment the... Uh, it says, like, playtime, the moment those tiles appear on screen, my auto splitter takes another split. Uh, just to get the accurate game time at the very end. But uh, so I watched the tiles of the screen for that. I watched like the champion's defeated flag. So when that's true and the map is Hall of the Fame and then certain tiles show up on the screen, then I split. And uh, and that one, uh, that one is supposed to stop the clock. But like I said, there's lots of software problems today. <laughs> so my clocks are not stopping for some reason. Also, I, I didn't collect any splits from these runs. It's really, really frustrating. Uh, but oh, stuff happens. I forgot to. I forgot to, but I, I don't know if I True. updated those. I think that'd be broken as well. Just, I use the game name a lot in those. The, in the game name? But I, yeah. I, have a, I have a weird setup because I, I collect the split data from in-game time. And like, I have a thing that automatically subtracts the time like in an index, you know? Oh, that's smart. That's really smart. Just so I can have similar results, and we've been trying to do that a lot, but yeah, it'd be so much easier with real time. <laughs> it's literally just live split, or like you did, you put it all on an Excel sheet on the Smeargle Rays. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably what you normally do. Yeah, uh, now actually, we Harry shout out to Harry built a little Python program that I put the split data all into, the and then it, and it, it generates all the graphs automatically. It's like yeah. two seconds, cool. and then I have a bunch of graphs. Uh, it's amazing. So thank you, Harry. Well, a lot of people look at that kind of stuff and they're just like, well, it's fluff and yeah. it's just extra stuff. But I have saved runs from being oh, yeah. way worse than they could yeah, be by sure. looking at the split data and being like, what's wrong with the split? Like, what am yeah. I doing wrong here? And like analyzing it that way rather than looking at the run as a whole and being like, well, I could just save some time, you know? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. I'm watching. I'm watching your league now. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is over. I think Lorelei is very, very easy in this game because the Dugong doesn't have the special AI, so it's just going to spam rest. Well, never mind. Okay, we got Clamp. Two-turn Clamp. It cramp, it clamp Crit. Clamp Crit yeah. is like one of the strongest moves in the entire game. It is. It is. With three Swords Dance, is it worth... I don't think I'm going to one-shot this Lapras. Uh, yeah, you'll probably two-hit it. I two-hit. Like, two-turn. <laughs> Look at that Mega Drain damage. Huh! <laughs> oh, it's so little. I was like, yeah, well, maybe we'll siphon a little bit of health. Water level? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Probably copyright me. You never know what's going to copyright you these days on stream. You just use official Pokemon music probably, don't you? I, I put in me, yeah. Uh, I, I put in, uh, I put in like, literally two seconds of a meme song that a bunch of people they copyrighted Yeah, you? they copyrighted me. Like I fought back the two last seconds. time. I fought back, and I was like, "You do not. Own, this is a Capcom song, and you do not own this." Yeah, I, like, I had that. They let it time out. Yeah, like, you can challenge it, and they just let it time out, and like that just wasted my time. I had people who do not own the like the rights to whatever they were copyright striking me. Like it was not. It was someone copyright striking me for it, an arrangement that they had made of the Pokemon theme. But it was the official music oh, playing. It's frustrating. It's like, like, yeah. It's just, for me. It's just like, why? Like, Thank who does here. this? It's somebody's job to go through and see if they can siphon out. Like, they probably do this thousands and thousands of times to streams, and that's how they make their living. Oh, Mega Dream, pretty good here too. I wish there was like, um, what I really want, because um, I don't actually oh, particularly oh. like using the Pokemon tracks like I wish that I could just buy a license to use them like give us like a music store 
on YouTube where there's like stuff that you can like purchase to be used in your videos or like yeah. I don't know, something like that. Like just you could go through a process of being like, yeah, like I want to use I want to use these songs. How yeah. much will it cost me? Yeah. Because like when they like strike you and if it's like two seconds of your video, it's like you they don't get like a percentage revenue split based on the amount of time that the music was in the video. Yeah. But like I'm petty. I'll, I'll mute the video before I give up anything. <laughs> and I hate it because like it takes away the live chat replay. And like for me yes. watching streams, like that's all I care about. So I naturally outspeed here. Yeah, I figured that out earlier in the year. People were like, hey, can you edit the streams so that they're more concise? Like take out a bunch of the like dead time where you're just sitting there doing nothing because I don't have anything to say. And I, I did that and then it deleted the li uh, live chat and then everyone's like, where's the live chat? I really like the live chat. Like, no, <laughs> there's no good way around this. No, it was really not. And when people want to like take your, like, I don't even care. I don't even play ads in my streams. Like, that's how little I care. But like when somebody's like, you know, we're here to, for the money. And it's like, because I played five seconds of Diddy Kong Super Nintendo Country. Like, and some guy from like Kansas is saying he owns it. Like, yeah. you know, I'll end it there. I'm getting heated about it. Oh, I have a question. Uh, the like, when your Pokemon gets damaged, when it takes damage, you like, do you draw all those yourself? Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. It's just, it's, it's like sprite work. Yeah. You know how it is. Like, yep. uh, I draw the eyes and I, and I drew all the little things and I just have a folder that I just make it up. That's and you great. can just, you can, you, you can guess how the, uh, other stuff works. Like, yeah. Health yeah. percent. Yep. I think you got to get lucky against the Gyarados. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a one swords dance. You could put the live know, chat in the help. screen. Okay. Yeah, you could do that. You could I probably cover up the learn that. set, but you probably want to use the footage though, you know? Uh, that's not relevant anymore because we can oh, okay. record replays. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah, I can just re I, yeah, I can just refilm the whole run with like that's whatever bad. footage I want it to look like in the end. Oh, agility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just set up on the Dragonairs. They're free. I don't even need Mega Drain. Well, well Mega Drain, yeah. Heal, heal, heal. Because uh, the Aerodactyl is going to do some damage. You're right. Yeah, It's going right. to survive. It doesn't matter. Like, i use all of them here. Yeah, oh, the Hyper Potion. That's what we want. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, Back we're just there. we're waiting for Gym Leader Matt to finish because he's he's playing on three times game speed. I'm playing on four times game speed, so there's a discrepancy in terms of like how fast we were able to finish the uh, the runs. That was pretty. Oh, close. it's good that but you did win. the healing. Yeah, you win. Nice job. Kind of, but I guess I just have to use this barrier induced. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Needles. I can't even get the poison after all this. All right, you beat Lance. Good. Okay. Do you have any rare candies left? I do. Good, because uh, you're a little bit slower than the Alakazam. I got four. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll be faster than it. I was trying to save some to see what I could do. I think I have definitively discovered that red would make a much faster run. Probably you think so? Candies even earlier. Yeah, I think red is the faster run. It but usually, it, yeah, that way. I think the I think like red. Uh -oh. If you risk like if you do the struggle strat against Brock that you did, because I lot of, lost a lot of time doing more consistent Brock with Twin Needle. But if you do, oh my gosh, the sky attacked it, it a lot. A lot of damage. I tried to rush it. I got scared. <laughs> um, I think yeah, I think red is going to be faster. Uh. Just do like a little bit riskier Brock with struggle, uh, deplete all the focus energy PP. And then oh, after wow. that, like just rare candy in the mid game right before the rival. And uh, take Mega Drain on your set so that you have some recovery. And I think it's uh, red will be faster. I'm trying to see, was that like a non crit sky attack? Cause that did, that like destroyed myself. Oh no, it mirror moved swords dance. Oh. This would absolutely destroy my life if it hit me. <laughs> but we got it. Yeah, Two you got it. set up. Uh, yeah. Finish setting up. Uh, were you at a level where two, uh, one Swords Dance double edge would take out the... Uh, no. It just barely didn't. 
I would have uh, needed two. I just had to get lucky. You should be good from here, I think. I don't know if that uh, will I'm gonna one level hit. up. Oh. But you'll still be oh, faster than speed. the Charizard, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. Nice. Too many resets, but I mean, it's one run. I'm not too worried about it. This is nice. So, level. like, that was like 410 for you. Game time. Yeah, 410. 410. Generally, easily save an hour. Easily. But yeah. I don't. I feel like Beatrice got to be better than a high C tier. I think 410 would be like 70. Okay. I don't even know. 77, something like that. High C. Yeah. I think, I think it's better than that. What do you think the final game time you'll get with it is? I would probably try my best to get it below three hours. Well, okay, wow. That's a That's big improvement. That's going to be a tough... Yeah. You could try... I think Risky Brock at 18, Struggle Stretch, you could probably plan that out much better. Yeah. I just don't know. The Brock split's so bad. I'd say... God... Yeah, it's... it may not even be that much better because I felt like I just zoomed like from a certain point. I was just from point A to point B over and over and over after Brock. Yeah, it feels I like feel like Brock's is so bad. It's yeah. so bad. It feels like everything else you can play around like uh, at the end of the game. Like there's like you just update your strategy and don't have as many resets, and then like that smooths out. But Brock feels like like he's always going to take a significant amount of time, probably twenty minutes at least. The uh, starting set so bad. Yeah, it's like. It makes me wonder about Tauros, because, like, before I knew we were going to do Beedrill, I just went ahead and made overlays for Sandslash, Tauros, and Beedrill. Yeah. And I was like, man, I thought Tauros had, like, Tail Whip Tackle at the start, but no. It, like, just straight just tackle. tackle. Yeah. And the slow leveling group. Yeah. I don't even know if I'd want to try it in red version. Like... Just, it's already going to be slow because it's in the slow level. Oh, group, I know. Be, it would be so painful, no matter what version you played in. Yeah. Just tackle. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, it, yeah. And Tauros is not, like, it's slow growth rate as well. So it is so yeah. painful at the beginning of the game. I think, like, uh, my Beedrill, like, I'm going to be able to get it. I think I'll get it under an hour and five minutes for sure. But I, I don't I, know about the sub hour. What was the I'm yellow final sure. time? Like, 117 117 I think I will be able to get it under an hour but I uh, it's going to I think it's going to be quite painful to get it under an hour I think like Yeah Yeah luck Yeah like lucky nine tails or something like that Yeah maybe a guard spec at the end no rock slide Yeah Okay What's crazy well is that twin needle is like super effective on the needle queen and king you just wouldn't think that yeah. Yeah, I know. That's really funny. Yeah, it's weird to me. Okay, so uh, I guess that's it. We don't have any more runs today. So um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in and, and watching us do this. This was really fun. Yeah, I appreciate everybody for showing up. Uh, people in my chat, I got Squirtle Sunday. I don't know if I'll stream next week. I start back class Monday. So okay. We'll be back. Uh... I kind of want to do Persian over again. I don't, I don't know what I'll do next. I'll announce it. You already know. Yeah. But appreciate you showing up. Yeah. If you don't know Matt's channel, check it out. I left a link to this stream in the description. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining me today. This was really fun. Yeah, it was fun. All right. Um, that's it. See y'all later. I'll see you guys.